Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today uh, we will talk about the Holy Prophet. You know, the Holy Prophet was so holy. I mean, come on, you cannot stop. You cannot stop the light of Allah. Actually, you cannot stop the light of the Prophet. I mean, the Holy Prophet was holy to the point when he was born, according to Muslims, according to Muhammad's story. His mother, she saw a light coming from her vagina. And that light went all the way to the palaces of Damascus. True story. Now, not to mention that nobody noticed that light, even the neighbors of Muhammad. Not to mention that looked like Muhammad, his, his mother, she was do, giving birth to him in the field, not in the house. I mean, how the light went out of the house <laughs> and went in a straight direction to Damascus. I mean, what he had to do with Damascus? He did not even, the light did not go even to Jerusalem. Uh, so the Muslims, you know, obviously, and Muhammad, I don't know if Muhammad is the one, according to the stories, Muhammad is the one who mentioned this, that this his mother told him, which is very weird. I mean, Muhammad, he'd been taken from his mother right away because his family, they don't want him. Obviously, he was born four years after his father's death and his family reject to be their child. Uh, but Muhammad, he mentioned this story and the Muslim believe it. You know, when we ask Muslims about the moon being split, they say uh, the reason nobody saw that from around the world because it happened for a second. Uh -huh. For a second. Come on, how you can see it? And maybe it happened locally, you never know. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyway, so when the prophet, his, you know, he, his mother, she gave birth to him, uh, the light went all the way. Uh, some story says even went to Iraq, you know, to Basra in Iraq and went all the way uh, to Damascus in Syria. And here I ask uh, myself a very simple question. The light is coming from the vagina of the mother of Muhammad. Isn't it this is a great sign that Muhammad is a prophet of God? The first nuclear explosion come to this earth it was through the Prophet Muhammad and his mother private part uh, I was trying to find you an English website actually I found some English website uh, but uh, it's not the ones I'm looking for so let me try to do this Because I need to use Google Translation to put for you on the screen. All right, I will put it for you on the screen now so you can see with me. This is islamweb.net. And this is the fatwa number. You see the number here? This is in Arabic. But don't worry, we will switch to Google Translation so you will be able to read with me. The title in Arabic says, The proof or the evidence, or the, let us say, uh, what make us believe that Muhammad is a prophet. And the first thing of it is his birth. What, what is unique about his birth? So there is a question here saying, I want to know if this is true and what is the proof? And he quote the following, that when Amina, the daughter of Wahab, uh, you know, she get a bright with Muhammad, she said, uh, she used to see a vision every night of one of the messengers and uh, and the, uh, the messenger which means messenger of uh, God telling her about uh, the good news 
of a person she will give birth to him he will be their master okay but here you notice that Muhammad mother she was a disbeliever you see how the story is fabricated obviously Muhammad mother and Muhammad father Muhammad grandfather all the family are disbelievers and when I say disbeliever by the way it doesn't mean they don't believe Allah because remember Allah is a pagan God anyway but according to Islam you have to believe in Allah and Akbar which is they merged them together to be one God Allah and Akbar and that God Allah or Allah which means the moon God he is the one to worship alone if you don't do that you are the believer so the mother of Muhammad was seeing messengers of Allah but she is not a believer so here how the story starts broken then then she said uh, when uh, uh, when she gave birth to uh, uh, when she is giving birth to Muhammad a light came from her private part and his mother this is the question by the way this is not the hadith now this is the question of the person uh, he did not even mention the word private part he says from him a light came he did not say what him or from it uh, or sorry when he when she gave birth to him when he is coming out a light came with him and she saw the palaces of Damascus with this light okay when the Prophet was born he's just quoting what Muslims you know keep saying uh, Mecca was surrounded by a bunch of angels by the lead of angel Jibreel and the whole universe was celebrating his birthday okay when Muhammad was born, the idols of Mecca, they put their head down and they fell down. And the bedroom of Kisra collapsed. And he mentioned and many, many more, he say, many more uh, miracles. And then he continues saying, Uh, I mean the question is so long you know I don't know what, what is the answer uh, the answer is here all right let's go to the answer about all of this hmm. so let us uh, use uh, Google translation and go down to the answer The Sheikh who's answering, he says, we did not know any uh, hadith about the one you mentioned in the beginning uh, that she gave uh, birth to their master. So he did not, he cannot confirm that. And then he continued about the hadith about the light coming out from the vagina of the mother of Muhammad. And you notice here, if you read my book, actually, Sex and Allah, uh, I think I mentioned that in the section of Allah too. You will see that uh, the mother of Muhammad, she said, that this is, was the easiest delivery I ever have, and even uh, uh, like as a, as a pregnant woman, you know, as a, as a woman who is giving delivery. But that means that Muhammad, he is not the first baby for this woman. So how come nobody mentioned that? And where is the babies? And where where is the brothers and sisters of Muhammad? Obviously, there is something fishy behind this story because there is no way the mother, she would say, he was the easiest delivery I did unless she had many delivery. Correct? And then she speak about the light coming from her vagina, as you see here. The answer he says, as for the light that came even out even so his mother uh, 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 please his mother she saw I mean translation is not good uh, about the light coming from her vagina uh, he says it have been proven for it in a vision proven is that how things is proven hmm. so it's a vision so it's not 
something happened for real. Any Muslim there is in the bushes can help us? Is that really a vision? Is that what the story is saying? Or she said, I saw. Because vision is, you know, like, see, like a dream, you know, or, you know, like your eyes, uh, uh, it, it can be a dream, uh, but it's not like something you saw with your own eyes. Vision is something from seeing. The hadith says that she saw. But anyway, so the mother of Muhammad, when she gave birth to him, the light came from her private part. And there's even a person, his name, uh, uh, Al Arbat. Ibn Sariya, he said, I saw the light too. <laughs> and not only that, when Muhammad was born, he said something, he, he spoke like Jesus according to the Quran. He said, I am Abdullah. The book of the seal of the Prophet, this is the translation. So he said what? He said, I am Abdullah. I am the seed of the Prophet. I am from the clay of Adam. And then he continues saying, this is all Muhammad talking now. I'm going to uh, preach and teach uh, the, uh, the teaching of my father Abraham. And I will teach you the good news of Isa, which means Jesus supposedly. And my mother, she saw, and the prophet, they saw, and the mother of the prophet, they saw. And then she continues, says, and the mother of Muhammad, when she gave birth to him, she saw a light came out of it, which means her vagina, illuminated, uh, excuse my English if the reading is not correct, you know, the palaces of Syria, likewise, you see the mother of the prophets, blessing of God and people, uh, peace upon them. So here you see, I mean, uh, obviously is a fabricated story because Muhammad for 40 years, he was worshiping idols. If Muhammad, he spoke in his cradle or even his coming out of the vagina of his mother and right away he announces himself as a prophet. So what happened after that? So you notice that Muslims, they made a big frame around Muhammad, trying to frame him as a holy man, as an amazing person. But all of us, we knew that when Muhammad, he met with the so-called angel, he squeezed him three times. Muhammad got scared, he got terrified. So how a person, he is a baby, he knew he's a prophet. Then a man who is 40 years, he do not know he's a prophet. <coughs> So they frame Muhammad and they make imaginary stories. I don't believe Muhammad, he said that, even though I know he's a liar, he would say more. But I believe those stories are fabricated long after Muhammad death. However, if Muhammad, he said that and Muhammad did not say that, that wanted to change the thing. Still was Muhammad is what Muhammad claimed to be and what Muslims claim that Muhammad is. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? And by the way, if you are a sheikh, you are more than welcome. We, we prefer sheikhs over a, a normal Abdul. Do we have any sheikh? I'm going to turn on my Skype to see if any Muslim is willing to call us. And I have no request from you, my friend, except prove to us that Muhammad was a holy man. Because you Muslim call him holy. So do you call him holy because he is not holy? <coughs> Or you call him holy because he is. I'm uh, logging in my Skype. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we have this kid. Uh, his name is Fatima. He challenged me, but I ran away. <laughs> he challenged me, but I ran away. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. If you are a Muslim and you want to talk to me, you want me to call you, say I'm a Muslim. That just don't uh, just add me. Uh, hey, Alhamdulillah, a Muslim call me when you were free so that you can embrace yourself and say for a sick. Okay, let me show you what this Abdul is saying to me before we call him. <coughs> Get ready, Abdul. You ask for it. <coughs> oh, this is from yesterday. Maybe he isn't online now. Okay. But we will try to call him. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Well, maybe he is not online. Let us uh, see a different Abdul. This Abdul is not online. We have a person, his name is Abdul Wasa. The slave of the wide. Well, Allah is wide. He's very wide. <laughs> Wa alaikum as salam. Kifak. Uh, Rab. Speak to me in English, please, because our channel, as you know, it's in English. Okay, so you want me to prove to you that uh, the Prophet was holy? Yes, go ahead. Can you, uh, had... can you introduce yourself first, if you don't mind, so people will know who's talking? My name is Abdul Wasa. Abdul Wasa. What Abdul Wasa mean? It's uh, the slave of the large one. Large one. So Allah is large? Yeah, he's very large. Allah is very large. How large he is? Uh, he's larger than his chair. He's larger than his chair? Yeah. Well, this is not what the Quran says. The Quran says that Allah, uh, you know, uh, uh, if Allah is larger than his chair, how, how he can sit on it? Um, oh, I meant he's smaller than his chair. Oh, he's smaller than his chair. Yeah. So, but as long, but, than, okay, uh, but uh, my friend, look what happened. As long Allah is smaller than his chair, and you said you are the slave of the larger, that means you are a slave of the chair, because the larger now is the, is the chair. No, no, there are even larger things. Larger what? Larger things. Yeah, but he, who is the larger now, Allah or the chair? Um, the chair is larger than Allah. Okay, and you are the slave of the larger. Yeah, but the, the larger is Allah. The no, name of Allah. but you just say the chair is larger than Allah, and you are the slave of the larger. Yeah, but larger doesn't only mean dimensions. It means like uh, his uh, mercy is very large too. Ah, okay. He's large and everything. Okay, well, size doesn't matter. I have to uh, have to go with you. Now, go ahead to the topic, Mr. Actually, I, I like this person. He sounds like a nice person, and he is, uh, you know, speaking nicely. So we welcome people like Mr. Uh, Abdul Wasa. Go ahead, Mr. Abdul Wasa. Tell us how Muhammad was holy. Yes, yes. I love you too. Uh, Muhammad, the Prophet, peace be upon him, had many uh, miracles. Like, uh, if you okay. read the Hadith, for instance, Mm -hmm. uh, there was water uh, flowing between his fingers. Okay, so there is water was uh, flowing between his fingers, correct? Yes. Is that authentic hadith? I don't know. So what you mentioned to me something you do not know? Because uh, even the eighth hadith uh, passes. Oh, okay, so now we can, we confirm that even weak hadith pass passes. That's good. But you see, do you think that if somebody said a lie, it's very easy to expose him? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question, please? I mean, if I say to you now that there's water coming from between my toes, you know, okay. I, I, I have two toes, you know, so I put them together and now there's water coming from between them. And you say to me, how you can prove me to be a liar? There's a way to prove a liar to be a liar? Yeah, we need evidence. All right. I have an evidence in the Quran saying, chapter 17, verse number 59, saying that Allah, he refrained from sending any miracles to Muhammad. And this is Quran. 
Allah he refrain from sending miracles to Muhammad and but that's that's dealt by some um, like the early stages of Islam maybe later he sent him miracles what later so Allah he did not he wasn't sure if he would do a miracle or not no first of all he didn't send any miracles but uh, after that he did no he said we refrain yeah we refrain it's a past tense no, yeah, uh, that's mean he refrained. That's it. He refrained. Allah, he made decision that he will not no, no, give no. my... Okay, hold on. You see, the miracles of Jesus, where we can find them in Islam? Um, the miracles of Jesus. Uh, hadith I think uh, there... I don't think there is any of them in the Quran. Or maybe he talked when he was little in the Quran. Uh -huh. And in the hadith, there is more stuff. Yeah, no. And all, all of them, they are in the Quran. Mm, no, I think some of them are in the hadith too. Uh, okay, can you uh, okay? But the Quran mentioned those same miracle, correct? Uh, yeah, some of them, yes. Okay, so how we can how come we cannot find the miracle of Muhammad in the Quran? I mean, Allah He speak about miracles of Isa, uh, Suleiman. Suleiman He spoke to the end, as you know. You know, he, he 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 Allah He taught him the language of the birds, but that hit he 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 understood the end, and the ends are death. <laughs> the, anyway, so. How come all the miracles of everybody, Musa, Noah, I mean, Noah, he made an ark, flood came, etc. And all, uh, all, all, all those is mentioned in the Quran. How come this miracle about water coming from between the, the fingers of Muhammad is not in the Quran? Well, that's just the way it is. But for but example, no, why, but why the way it is? Why? Why Allah forgot to mention that he gave Muhammad such no, a miracle? No, huh? no, no. Huh? What? We don't know. Allahu Alam. I uh, know. I know. This is a fabrication happened after Muhammad's death because the Quran never mentioned such a miracle because this would be an amazing miracle to mention in the Quran. And uh, as long as Allah, he says, don't you Muslim, you say if something contradicts the Quran, we refuse it? That's your opinion. I respect it, but I don't... No, no. Uh... This, might, this is not my opinion. This is the opinion of Muslim. They say if something contradicts the Quran, we don't accept it. No, they don't say that. No, they say that. Uh, oh, oh, you know, go, go watch uh, Muslims' the debate and Muslims' uh, articles. You will see that. Are you a Muslim Sunni, Mr. Abdul Wasi? From your name, I think you're a Sunni, correct? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Abdul Wasi, when Allah He says we refrain from sending signs, and He said because former generation did not believe in them, is that mm. really a good reason not to send a sign? No, it's not. Okay. So you think Allah is wrong? No, he is not wrong. I, I said to you that uh, he refrained only in the early stages of Islam, but later he well, sent miracles. This is the time Muhammad he needed. He want believers, you know, miracles happen so people they can confirm that this person was sent by the one who he claimed he sent him. So if Allah refrained from giving him miracles, then Allah he don't want to support Muhammad so people will believe, correct? And then you need to ask yourself, why all the prophets of, of Allah, according to Islam, they have miracles except Muhammad? No, don't say that, my friend, because uh, God uh, has mysterious ways. Your God, Allah, has mysterious ways. Where do you get this from? Uh, it's, uh, it's a basic knowledge of any religion. No, like, I, uh, I, 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 think, I think you heard this from, from some Christians, because this is not, you know, the Quran says, that uh, uh, Allah, he wrote all the destiny in, his, in a book. This is not a mystery. He wrote it in a tablet, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, why Allah, he have a tablet, by the way? No, oh, you're switching topics now. Let's go back to... No, no uh, just because we mention it. Because, no, it's connected. I will show you how it's connected. Uh, why Allah, he have a tablet? Uh, I don't know. Uh, for the same reason, uh, he gave Moses a tablet. Okay. No, no, Allah have a tablet in his, uh, for his own, not, not not for anyone to read, it's uh, only him. Oh, yeah, because uh, it's uh, the Stone Age, they don't have like uh, iPads and stuff. Oh, so Allah That's from the Stone the Age, Age. Uh-huh. Allah from the Stone Age, okay. But you see, as Allah, he wrote in the tablet, the same as we see in the Quran now, do you understand that, right? Uh, he wrote in the tablet the same? I don't understand what you're saying. Well, isn't it the Quran, this Quran, is written in the tablet? Yeah, that's what we believe, okay. yes. So Allah, he wrote in the tablet, which he is going to read, I refrain from sending sign only because of men of former generation treated them as false. So Allah, he is saying 
Well, because they don't believe in them anyway. Why I want to make miracles, correct? Yes. But, but this is a lie. Because the Christians, they believe in all the miracles. We believe in the miracles of Moses. We believe in the miracles of Jesus. We believe in the miracles of all prophets. So this is was a false excuse. You know, if I say to you, well, like you I, I claim to be a prophet, and I say, well, you know what my God told me, I will not do miracle because you don't believe in it anyway. But in the time Muhammad was alive, there's many people believe in the miracles of the previous prophets. So there was, there was here, there's, a, there's an error uh, in, in the writing. I mean, the one who made this verse is, is not a smart. He's large, maybe, as you said, you know, but he's smaller than his chair. And his brain is so small, it's not even a brain of a mosquito, because you, this is not an excuse. This is somebody, he cannot do anything. He cannot prove himself to be a prophet. And then, because he cannot do anything to be a prophet, to be to prove himself, he come with this excuse. But he did in the hadith. But this hadith is is, is not from God. How do you know? Uh, it is from God. Oh, uh, the hadith is from God. Okay, uh, guys, our oh. friend here. Okay, our friend here. He just said that hadith is from God. Be my witness. It's not me who said that. Our friend here. So, uh, 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 I want to uh, show you hadith, and uh, you tell me how this is from God. You know. I'm not picking up my uh, cherries, by the way. You can show me whatever hadith you want. Uh, did your God spoke to Muhammad about farting? About farting? Yes. yes. Okay. How God he speak about farting? Uh, I think fart it's or something like that. Why, why farting is so important to Allah? Because it makes you impure. You have to redo your wudu. Okay, guys. So farting will make you impure. Is that correct? Did I hear you correct? Yeah, but I, I feel we're, we're deviating here. We need to go back to the topic, uh, Christian. No, no, this is the topic. Uh, Muhammad is holy or not, because if we prove that all of this is, 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 is a silly, stupid, obviously he's no prophet and he's no holy. Now, and you say, you just said, everybody heard you, that if you fart, the reason why Allah he talk about farting, if you fart, you are impure, correct? Uh, yeah, for prayer, yes. Okay. If, if a man, he take a shower with dead dogs, that make him... Uh, impure too? Uh, no. No. It's, uh, so how farting. come farting come from inside you will will not will will make you impure and dead dogs will not make you impure? Well, that's uh, that's how it is. Really? But your yeah. prophet? But, is, but isn't it your prophet? He said that dogs are dirty. Uh, he said uh, we should we should kill black dogs. No, no, this is not a question. Now I'm talking about the black dog are dirty. Uh, the black dogs are uh, are the devil. He said, I think. No, no, no. He did not mention anything about uh, about the black dog this time. I'm talking about dogs are dirty and they are nudges. So if a dog he lick, uh, let us say, uh, lick your dish, yeah, they're, they're... you have you have to wash it certain number of time. You have seven to wash times. it seven yeah. times. Correct. So guys, if a dog he lick your dish, you have to wash it seven times. Correct, uh, Abdul Wasiya? Abdul Wasiya, yes. Abdul Wasiya, sorry. So uh, that means the dog is very dirty. His uh, his saliva, yes. Okay. So what? how come his saliva? Huh? So now we have a dog. Yes. We have a dog, and this dog is uh, you know he's dead. You know, he's dead. And this dog is simply his saliva, his belly, his stomach is all over the water. So what we would do? Yes. What we do you think? We will uh, bury it. Huh? We will bury it under, uh, under earth. We will what? Bury it. I don't understand. Bury. So for not to know the earth. Yeah, but the dog now is swimming, he's dead, and he is with your prophet in the same water. Okay, so? But you just said the saliva of the dog is nudges. Yeah, but uh, if it's, uh, it's a body of water, there, there will be no more saliva. It's going to dilute in the water, basically. It's going to disappear, so it's not the same. I don't understand what the what not the same. If the dog is dirty, the dog is filthy. Okay, is it your prophet? He said, if a dog even walk by, your your prayer is not accepted no more. 
Okay, so thank you. Translate it, please, to the people. So your prayer is cut when uh, a dog goes by or when a, <laughs> a donkey. You love this word, donkey. When a donkey goes by uh -huh. and uh, if a woman goes by. And the women. So your prophet, yeah. he made women equal to dogs and donkeys. In a cutting prayer, yes. Uh -huh. So if a dog just walked by, he did not even touch you, your prayer is not valid no more, correct? Yes. Okay, that means your prayer will not be accepted if just a dog walk by so how in the world muhammad is taking wudu with dead dogs and not only the dogs what about women blood from period do women blood from period make you impure yes okay so how muhammad is showering with it and he's doing wudu with it but, um, i told you because there's a lot of water and if you put a tiny drops of anything in a big body of water it's gonna disappear okay how about how big the body of the water uh, like uh, three meters cubed. Okay, so guys, let us say we have a swimming pool, and how high it is? Uh, two meters. The, so if Sorry, the I, okay. I don't only know metric units. Two I meters. Know, okay, no stuff. problem. So guys, if the if the water is three meter wide and two meter high, and you put a dead dog there, the water will not be affected. Correct, Mr. Abdulwasia. Yeah. Okay. So, but if the water is less, that will make the, the 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 body of the water dirty, stinky, correct? Yeah. All right. Guys, did you hear it? Okay. So, but this is the water is very very little. Actually, it doesn't even reach the private part of Muhammad. Read this hadith with me and this is sahih. It says here that this person who is uh, from the Sahaba, he described the water of Bida and he said, "I measure it. I measure the breadth of the well of Bida with my sheet, which I stretch over it. Okay, then I measure it with the the hand. It measure of six cubit in in the uh, in the breadth, and then uh, uh, they ask me." Uh, he opened etc door and said blah, blah blah and then he says the condition of the water actually here we go hold on. if you go up a little bit it says here read very really carefully where it does reach when its level goes down it says uh, the, he replied below the private part of the body so when you go down in it how 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 deep it is uh, it must be like a meter or something uh, no less i mean come on the, 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 below the private part so Below the private part is your, the water we are talking about. Let us say a meter and let us say you are a very tall person. You are the one who okay, said, well, but... you are the one who said, if the water less than two meters, that will make the water stinky. Um, two meters, but we have widths and heights and depth. Uh, go give me the other dimensions. Well, it says uh, uh, I measure six breadth of the well of Bida, you know, so it is still very small. You said the three meters, right? Three meter wide. This is like a small swimming pool. This is a jacuzzi. It's a size of oh, a, give it's, me the it's a size. It's a size of a you know the room I am in. It's a three meter, a three meter almost by by uh, two meter and a half. So uh, that's mean your your uh, what you are saying to me. Uh, the dog, the dead dog. And by the way, the hadith does not say a dead dog. It says dead dogs. You see, okay. not only a dead dog, it says dead dogs. If you read with me here, which dead dogs, you know, not one, not two, it have to be three and more. So if we put, yeah, if we put one dog in every one meter, you know, let's say I will go with you with three meters uh, theory. If we put one dog in every one meter and this dead dog, do you think really the water will be clean? No way. Um... But since it is a well, actually wells, uh, the water changes very frequently, so uh, I don't see a problem there. Okay, so you just said if the water is is a, a contaminated, is good, the water will color will change, correct? No, no, I said that uh, a well like a bitter, yeah. um, there is uh, there is um, there is uh, 
water underneath which comes from underneath the ground no, 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 you know? my friend this is so not a, this, this is not a running water there's no even water there this water is coming from the dirt this is like an old well down in the ground and whatever water from house has come it's like it became a sewage place this is why they are throwing garbage you know that this is you know the, the desert nobody will throw uh, garbage and dead dogs in the water which is not exist everywhere correct I mean, there's no way if you live in Saudi Arabia and you have a well in your backyard or in your town, you go and you throw at dead dogs. People will kill you for doing that, correct? Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's but a well, right? It's, no, but the, the, it used to be a well, obviously. And this is the dirty water. This is why people are throwing garbage. No, it's, what's your proof? Okay, well, the proof is people are throwing garbage. No, you can okay. throw garbage. Uh, in, uh, uh, okay, is, uh, was Muhammad living next to the Nile River? There's a river no. there. Okay, how many how many well of water there was in Mecca? I don't know. There's only one. How do you know? You don't Zem -zem? understand. Keep talking about uh, zam 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 zam. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's the only one. Okay, name for me the other one. I don't know. Okay, so you don't know. So don't tell me there is. So here we have a proof that this is obviously is not a useful water. Otherwise, if it's useful. There's no way no. people who live in the desert they will throw their garbage. And look what happened. Even here it says that the water of the well changed the color. I saw the color on the water of the water in this well had it changed. What does that mean when you see the color of the water is not good? What does that mean? Uh, contaminated. Okay. So you are a prophet jumping in the water, have dead dogs, women blood from period. And garbage, even it says there clearly, your translation, it says stinky. So in the top of that, we confirm that the water color changed. Which means okay. it's, 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 it's obvious. So how Muhammad is a holy man? And the holy God told him, fart will make your prayer not accepted. Dogs will make you dirty. Women of blood from menstruation will make your prayer not accepted. This is why they forbid Muslim women from praying when they have menstruation, correct? Yes. Okay, so now we have all of those three together. And yet Muhammad doing a pollution and we have the water color change and Muhammad doing a pollution from that water. What is his holiness? I told you it's in his miracles. This is a miracle? So if I jump in the sewage now, that make it a miracle for me. No, I gave you an example of a miracle, which is uh, water coming between his uh, fingers. Well, I just show you, you know, if water coming from between his uh, fingers, I mean, he do not know and uh, need to go and jump in such a water. I mean, all what he need just to squeeze his fingers and the water will come like river. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if this happened before or after. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, happened before, happened after. You must then you make a claim. There's no proof of it. So all those in the hadith, if this is a true, if this is a true, then the Quran should mention the miracle as the Quran mentioned every single miracle of Jesus. Jesus in the Quran, he made the blind see. Jesus in the Quran, he made the dead alive. Jesus in the Quran, he healed the lepers. Jesus in the Quran can tell you what you had in your house. Jesus in the Quran, he is born without, without father. So every single miracle of Jesus mentioned in the Quran, how come none of the miracle of Muhammad is mentioned in the Quran? No, no, you're lying. You said that uh, the Quran says that Jesus can tell you what's in your home? Yes, he can tell you what's your home, yeah. Show me the verse. So, okay, but what, why you why you reject what I'm saying? I'm not rejecting, I've never read it. That's, I just want to make sure. But you just said you're lying. Uh, yes, uh, but sorry if I'm why, wrong. But, why, but, but, but why, what make you upset when I said Jesus can tell you what you in your home? Is that because only God knows? Only God knows, right? What is the unseen, correct? I'm not upset. I just, I've just never read that in the Quran. No, I'm asking you. Is it true that only God knows the unseen? Um, tough question. No. The Quran uh, says. The Quran I'll says. Say yes. Okay. So, guys, he agree that the Quran says that only Allah know the unseen. Uh, you're changing topics. If you give me first the verse, please, that says that uh, no, I'm not, Jesus I'm not, has... I'm not, uh, I'm not changing topic. Let us go. Here we go. <clears throat> Read with me. 
Uh, just can you read it in Arabic because I don't have YouTube in front of me. No problem. You can open in your side, chapter three, verse number forty-nine. It is for a Sulan Ila Bani Israeli in Inni Pajitokum be Ayam Rabbikum, Inni Achlokulakum in a Trini Kahi at a toy, Fan Fukufihi, Fayakuno Tyron, be Ednilla, Wabro Lakima, or Abrasa Hil Mota, be Ednilla, one be a Kumbimata Kuluna, Wamat at the Huruna to be to come. Okay. Okay, so Jesus, he knew even what you have in your houses and even what you ate before you meet him, correct? Yes. Okay. Was Muhammad able to do any of those? I don't know. No, you know. The Quran answer you. The Quran, if you go, it says here, chapter 6, verse number 50, it says, Allah said to Muhammad, tell them, tell them, hmm, tell them the following. Okay, what he said? You can open the Quran on your side, my friend. I do not say to you that I possess the treasure of Allah, nor do I say I gain the knowledge of the hiding of any uh, of my own, <laughs> nor I do say to you that I am an angel. I only follow what delivered to me, revealed to me. So look what different. The Quran says that Jesus can tell you even what you ate, what is inside your stomach. Jesus okay. can tell you what you are hiding in your closet, in your house. He, he, which okay. means Jesus, he can see you without being there. Muhammad is saying the opposite. Okay, hold on. Let me tell you, you got me wrong. Uh, yes, I'm a prophet, but I know nothing. Except what Allah told me. Okay? So, I, you know, I do not know and see. If I know the future, I will, I will, uh, I will uh, you know, I will take some of it from me. You know? And not only that, Muhammad, he says, will the blind be equal to the one who can see? <laughs> so Muhammad saying, I'm blind. <laughs> Muhammad saying, I'm blind. Jesus is not. So how he is holy and he have no miracles. Here we go. They ask him. If they ask him a question, he don't know what to say. He have no idea what to say. So he's a false prophet. But if you go to Jesus, according to the Quran, Jesus can tell you, hey, Jesus, tell me what, you ate, what I ate today. Oh, Christian Prince, you ate nothing yet because you don't take breakfast uh -huh. how you know jesus because i'm jesus oh muhammad what i ate today uh, muhammad he start um, okay hold on you see allah said to me that to tell you that i knew nothing how come there's a huge difference between here and there here there we have a person who can raise people from death he can make the blind see he can uh, feed even the, there's a chapter in the Quran it's called Al-Ma'idah the table all the chapter is important the name of the chapter is about Jesus feeding thousands of people mm -hmm. but it's in the Quran but we don't find the miracles which Muslims they claimed about his holiness in the Quran obviously they are fabricated no it's not obviously it's obvious you know you, uh, people will be judged in the same time do you, uh, Abdul Wasiya, be honest with me. Do you ever, yes. do you feel like you want to do the same as the Prophet, to jump in the water, have dead dogs? Did you ever practice no. such a thing to feel it, to feel how it feel like? No. Why you don't want to do that? Don't you want to follow the step? You said to me you are a Sunni. Yes. Okay, a Sunni mean what? Mean the one who follow the steps of the Prophet. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you should follow the step of the Prophet. You should, you know, you have a bath in your, in your house, correct? Yeah, but jumping in a, in dirty water is not sunnah. Well, it's, uh, here we go, guys. Jumping in dirty water is not sunnah. Why? But the prophet, he jumped. I mean, how dirty it can be more than this. There's women of blood from period, dead dogs, and garbage. And the water color changed. And you are I saying know. to me, this is not sunnah? sunnah? What? No, it's not. It's not sunnah. Sunnah is whatever Muhammad he did, so you have to follow the step of the Prophet. Obviously, you are rejecting to follow it because it's disgusting. No, Sunnah is uh, the habits of the Prophet. Exactly. Like, uh, guys, did you hear what Mr. Abdul Rasir he said? The habit, well, the habit of your Prophet to jump, the habit of your Prophet to jump in in a dirty water. This is his no, how many times he did it? Huh? How many times he did it? Well, it says a yustaqa laka min which means he's something you do always. You know, you you speak Arabic. Yes. Okay. You, you stuck out something happened in the past and happened in the future. So always you do it. 
Wait, can, can you read the whole sentence, please? Oh, oh, we can show you many of them. Hold on, here we go. This is the one we showed you here, but we go, we can go to more hadith. <clears throat> Let's read this one first. It says, Abu Sa'id al-Khudari said, that some people ask Allah Messenger whether it might uh, they might perform a pollution out of the will of Bida'a, which was, which was a will, into which uh, uh, menstrual clothes, dead dogs, and stinky things were thrown in. And he replied, water is pure and nothing make it impure. So this is a practice of the Muslims in the time of Muhammad. And Muhammad, he ordered them to do it. Okay. Okay. You can do it if you so, why you don't, the, so why you don't want to do it? You just said yourself, you said, I'm not going to jump in a dirty water. Which means, which means, which, which mean, look what you, did, what you did, Mr. Abi Wasi. When you said, I'm not going I'm to jump to, in the dirty water. You just admitted that Muhammad, he was swimming in dirty water. Yes. Okay, so Muhammad was swimming in dirty water. Is that because he's holy or because he's dirty? Because maybe uh, there is no uh, other alternative. So uh, his wife, she used to jump there too? Probably. Ah, all the Muslims, they jump in this water. I wish I, have, we don't know. I wish I have a video camera at that time then. So look what you just said, that properly all the Muslims are so clean at that time, to the point they throw dogs in the water, the women, they throw their menstruation blood in the water, and they throw their garbage in the water, and then they jump in the water. I mean, how smart the Muslims at that time? Not very smart. Not very smart, you agree. Because if I'm going to take a shower in it, and I am the one who throwing garbage. Well, I will throw the garbage far away. I mean, the, the desert is empty. Do I have to throw the dead dog in this water? No. Do I have to throw the menstruation rags in that, in that uh, well? No. Do I have to throw stinky garbage there? No. So why in the world they want to do such a thing and then jump in it? I don't know, but can we go back to the miracles, please? Okay, but this is a miracle. This, well, this is one of the miracles of Muhammad. He do crazy stuff. Yeah, it's not a miracle. No, miracles is something extraordinary. Yeah, this is extraordinary. You know, look at this. I mean, this is madness. Okay, well, give, give me. No, okay. I can do it myself. You can do it yourself. You know, you cannot. You cannot. Uh, you, uh, make, a make a video. Make a video. Show me yourself that you are jumping in your bathtub and you have a dead dog there and you have a stinky garbage. Don't just throw them there and jump. I mean, wait for like a day or two or three, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, okay, give me another miracle. Um, <clears throat> remember, another miracle I want, I want, is like when I he... Want, uh, I remember, my friend, I want, a, I, want yeah. a, I want a miracle because you see the title of the video, the Holy Prophet was not holy. I want something have to connect it with the word holy. What makes him holy? Go ahead. Uh, basically, if you do a miracle, then you're holy. It means that God, God is by your side. Oh, okay. So, so guys, listen carefully. Okay, listen yeah. carefully. Right, if right. you do a miracle, that make you holy. So what? What? Uh, what can be miracle? Something a human being cannot do, right? Yes. Okay. Can a human being throw words in the mouth of Muhammad, making me say for a false Quran? Uh, um, yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, you can hypnotize any person and make them like uh, turn into a dog or anything you want. Ah, so are you saying you can do what? Say again the word in English? Hypnotize. Like, uh, can, can we hypnotize? Hypnotize. Hypnotize. I don't know if I'm saying the word hypnotize. correctly. Hypnotize. 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 Okay. So exactly. are you saying that your prophet was hypnotized by shaitan when he throws satanic verses in his mouth? I don't know how it happened, but uh, something like that, yes. But can we go back to the topic? Yeah, but okay, no, hold on, we are on the topic, we are on the topic. If Muhammad is holy, then the holy Muhammad is protected by Allah. Correct? Uh, not 100% of the time, no, because he, when he went to some jihadi uh, war, he was hurt. 
So, uh, no, 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 I'm not talking about physical protection. No, the word of Allah. Do, do Allah protect His word? The word of Allah, you mean the Quran? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Allah, He said, nobody can exchange the word of Allah. Correct? Yes. Okay. And you just said that shaitan was able to empathize, I don't know what the word, your prophet, and, yeah, and he controlled him, you know, and your prophet starts saying false words. Yeah. Okay. But uh, he failed. But that's me, but Muhammad. But that's me, Muhammad, at that moment, he was making miracle for the sake of shaitan. This miracle, by, because Quran is a miracle, isn't it? Uh, Quran is a book, not a miracle. Yeah, I don't know. The Muslim, they claim it's a miracle. Oh, those are stupid Abdul. Oh, those stupid that. Abdul. They are smart Abdul. Okay, so I will go with you. So, are you saying anyone can make Quran? What? Anyone can make Quran? Yeah, yeah. they have like uh, printers. They make a lot of Qurans. No, I'm saying Quran, like a book. It's called Quran. I can make a Quran like this Quran. What do you mean, make a Quran like uh, this Quran? I don't, because I don't you just understand. said anyone can make Quran. Yeah, you have you have you just need a printer and you print it, or you can write it. By, no, no, no. I'm not talking uh, printing this book here. I'm not talking. I'm saying making a new Quran, new book. It's like and I, I name it Quran, or 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 make it Quran number two. Can I do that? Is it possible a human being can make yeah. something like the Word of Allah? Yeah, you can. You can, but is it the Quran says you cannot? You cannot what? Can you read the verse, please? Okay. <laughs> but we're changing topics again. I don't we're know what we are not. We are trying to see if I Muhammad. Was... No, no, my friend. Uh, uh, we are trying I was to. Was to hear my... another miracle and you change topics. No, no, I'm not. We are not change topic because the, the Quran supposed, supposedly is the top notch work of Allah, is the book of guidance, and if Muhammad he failed with his Quran, he contradicted his Quran. Then Muhammad is not holy, and he was a you know a, a person. Uh, he's a scammer. He's the opposite. What is the opposite of a holy person? Is a scammer, a liar, false. You know either he is a true prophet or he is a false prophet. So the Quran says, uh, "Can you provide?" Uh, a verse or a chapter like this Quran? Can you? Um, that's it. Uh huh. So. What does that mean? I don't know what it means actually. Uh, okay. Well, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what what you mean. What what do you bring mean? Bring a verse like it. Nobody can make Quran like this Quran. For it to be ayatim immediately. So bring 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 a chapter like this. If you can, so if nobody can can make a chapter like this, so how the Quran, according to you, he was able to place control on Muhammad and uh, make him say satanic verses? I don't know. God has mysterious ways. But this is not God. This is Shaitan. Yeah, but Shaitan is controlled by Allah. Oh, so Shaitan, guys, Shaitan was controlled by Allah. And Allah, he made shaitan control Muhammad. Yes. Okay, why Allah, he does that? I don't know, yeah, I said that he has mysterious ways. Well, what is mysterious about it? I mean, it's not mysterious no more. I mean, uh, yeah, this, is, this, is a pro this is a prophet, this is a prophet, you know, and he is a challenging people to bring Quran like the Quran. Yeah, but uh, I think it makes sense because uh, for example, let's say you wrote a book called uh, uh, Sex and Allah, okay? Yeah, and, I, this uh, is, yeah, this is my book. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's your book. And you're challenging us to make, to create a book like it. But you've already done it, so we cannot, like, we cannot create the same thing and, and say it's ours. You've already done it once, so nobody's going to ever do it again. Okay, thank you very much. So the, the challenge of Allah is a stupid then. It's uh, obvious, I think. Nobody can do like the Quran. It's obvious because already it's done, right? Uh, yeah, but now it's done. The Quran is yeah. finished. Yeah. Same, you give me an example about my book. If I say to you, now make a book like my book, and you do, well, this is my book still. So it's a stupid challenge. 
Yeah, you can, we can, nobody can make something like it. Nobody can make something like Shakespeare. Nobody can make something. Everybody has their so, own style. So, so you are agreeing that Allah and the one who wrote the Quran is stupid? No, I didn't say that. But you just yeah, the one who say it. Nobody can make the same as the book of the book of Shakespeare. It's already done. Nobody can make the same book as your book, naming my books. It's already done. I agree with you. But now nobody can make the same book as Allah because it's already done. So if I make a book like it, it's, uh, this is already the Quran, and we have it. So and you said it's uh, this is stupid. Now the second I say to you Quran, then the Quran is stupid. Suddenly you say no. No, I don't. I didn't say stupid. I said it's obvious. He's stating the no, obvious. You said, uh, you said it's stupid, my friend. It's recorded. No, no I didn't. It's recorded. Okay. Yes, I didn't say stupid. Okay, people will see later if you say stupid, and maybe they can leave in the comment later if I heard you correctly. So, so let us see here. So, Muhammad is a holy prophet, and the holy prophet is speaking the holy word of Allah. Do we agree on this uh, line? Okay, but now when shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad, satanic verses, Muhammad is still holy or he's speaking the word of shaitan? He's still holy, but uh, right. at the same time speaking the words of shaitan, which Allah controls. Okay, hey guys, I want, I, want you, I want you to listen to Mr. Abdul Wasir. He is saying Muhammad is still holy, but for the moment he is speaking for shaitan, but Allah is controlling shaitan. Explain that to the to the people who they are listening, Abdul Wasir, because honestly, I I lost with you. Go ahead, explain to us how this happened. So basically, Allah has created everything. Okay. Everything, everything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. yeah, so He also <laughs> created Satan. So He ordered Satan, like He did with Adam and Eve. He ordered Satan to go say things to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so the same thing happened happened with Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what uh, the lesson was about uh, because I don't know how to explain this. It's just but the Prophet remained holy actually. That didn't change anything in, in his holiness. Okay. So uh, I don't see a problem there. Okay. So guys, uh, listen carefully. Mr. Abdul Wasa he said that Allah he ordered Shaitan to go and fool Muhammad and make him say satanic verses. And then shaitan he did the order of Allah. So shaitan, according to Islam, is a good employee of Allah. He is obedience to Allah. He do good things. And one of the good things is to fabricate Quran. And he is doing yes. just the order of Allah. Correct, Abdul Wasir? Yes. Okay. So shaitan is a Muslim person. He obey Allah. He follow the order of Allah. And his duty is to mislead and to deceive Muhammad. And Muhammad was deceived. Muhammad received satanic verses from Satan. But now, as long as you are the one who said to me that those satanic verses is order from Allah to be said, that means satanic verses is coming from Allah. Correct, Abdul Wasir? Yes. Okay, so Allah is Satan because the satanic verses, it's called satanic verses because they are coming from Satan. And Allah himself is the one who made those verses. So Allah is Satan. And that means that Allah he decide to take his satanic verses from the verses who he made anyway. So does that make sense to you? I mean, he is the one who made the satanic verses. And he is the no, one who made the rest of the Quran. So why Allah want to take the satanic verses out of the Quran if both of them coming from Allah? Uh, I don't know. I said I don't know how to explain. By the way, how in Christianity, how do you explain like uh, why did God create Satan? First of all, God in Christianity, he created an angel, not Satan. And then he gave a free will for all of us to obey or disobey. Satan, he decided to disobey and he became, this is why he, he got the title of Satan, because he is obedience, but still he is an angel by nature, but became evil person who want to be God. As simple as that. In Islam, no. According to you, Shaitan was a, Shaitan, Shaitan, he's working for Allah. And Allah deceived Shaitan, is that correct? Uh, Allah deceived Shaitan, yes. Okay. Uh, I'll wait, wait any or something like okay. that. Okay, so guys, Allah he deceived Shaitan, he made him Shaitan. Shaitan is a good person in Islam, he's a good Muslim. Shaitan is he a victim of Allah. Allah he gave him a job. As you see, Allah he sent him to deceive his prophets. Do, do we agree in this, uh, Abdul Wasir? Uh, can you repeat the last sentence, please? As long as you agree that Allah is the one who sent Shaitan to deceive Muhammad to make satanic verses. And he is was obeying Allah. That means Allah he decided to deceive his prophet. Correct? Yes. Why? I don't know. He has mysterious ways. Uh -huh. 
Well, if you read with me in verse number 53, it says, So Shaitan, the devil, he will make a trial to those who their heart have disease. But the trial here happened to Muhammad. So Muhammad, he have, heart, he have a disease in his heart. He's a bad person. Because those trials will not happen to a person who have no disease in his heart. So that he may make what the devil... Can you show it in Arabic, please? I don't like the English translation. No just problem. Like... I understand. Here we go. Or just read that because there is like... لِيَجْعَلُهُ مَا يُلْقِ الشَّيْطَانُ فِتْنَ لِدَذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضْ وَالْقَاسِيَ قُلُوبَهُمْ وَإِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ لَفِي شِقَاقٍ بَعِيدٍ Okay, but that doesn't mean that uh, Satan, he uh, only controls those kinds of people. He can control even good people. No, it says clearly, only those people who have a disease in their heart. Read it carefully. Don't add things. Uh, don't add things is not there. Does it say to good does people? It does it say anything about good people there? No, it says unjust people. To say people who they have, uh, 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 you know, extremely uh, uh, quarrelsome. You know, so there's no good people there. So the one who will who will receive those satanic verses is the bad people, but the one who receive it is Muhammad. No, you are saying things which are not in the verse. It doesn't say only those kinds of people. Well, does it say there's good people who receive it? It says who will receive it? Read carefully. So that they, he make the, the, what the devil includes a, a trial for the, those. He, he, he count them. Those who did he say the good ones and the bad ones? No. He said those who their heart have a disease. And those who have their heart is hardened. And those they are unjust, the criminals. He did not say anything about the good ones. You are writing things now. So Allah is the real shaitan, according to Islam. And Muhammad is a satanic prophet. No, I don't agree with you. If I well, say he... I do this, 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 it doesn't mean I do something else. Okay, hold on. Allah, he sent shaitan. To deceive Muhammad to make satanic verses. Why Allah decide to take it off? Miracles, please. I'm tired of it. Can we go back to the miracles? We are talking about the miracle. This is a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that there's a God. <laughs> He's confused. He decided to guide you by ordering shaitan to misguide you. How that work for you? I don't know. That's um, a mysterious way to do it. Oh, I don't mysterious way. I like this mysterious way. Okay, so let, sure. so look what happened now. Your prophet is a satanic prophet, and you Muslim, you call him holy. He speak for the devil. He pronounce the word of the devil, claiming that it is coming from Allah, which is supposed to be God. But as you see, he is the devil anyway. And you Muslim, you think he is holy? How that work? He is holy. He has miracles. Okay, guys, he is holy, he has miracle. What is the miracle? Having sex with six years old girl? That's no miracle. That's uh, anybody can do that. Anybody or only perverted ones? Uh, pedophiles. Pedophile. So are you saying Muhammad is a pedophile? Um, I don't know for sure, but uh, he might be. He might be. Ah, that's a good point here. So how you say, so you are calling me to prove that Muhammad is holy and you are saying that Muhammad, he might be a bit of file. Obviously he is. Uh, it's not obvious, no. What do you mean not obvious? He just said he uh, is. His other wives were not, uh, were not uh, premature. If he were a pedophile, he would have had uh, many more more than one uh, child. How we know? How we know? Your prophet, he used... Okay. Do you know the story of uh, of Osama? Osama bin Laden? No, not Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Zayd? What Osama bin Laden? Osama bin Zayd? Let me show you. Do you, know, you don't know the sure. story, huh? About Osama that uh, he said if Osama was a girl? <laughs> Have you ever, what do you think if I, if you are visiting a friend of yours and then you see he have a boy and then you touch this boy, supposedly the boy he fell down and you start kissing him and licking him and then you say, if he was a girl, I will dress him up, beautiful clothing until he, she get married. <laughs> Read with me. I will show it to you in Arabic first. Here we go. Go ahead. Nana Abu Bakr. It's Haddathana Abu Bakr. No Abi Shayba. Haddathana Sharik. Ani Abbas. Ani Darih. 
عن البهي عن عائشة قالت أثر أسامة بعتبة الباب فشج في وجهه فقال رسول الله سلام أميطي عنه الأذى فتقذرته فجعل يمص عنه الدم ويمجه عن وجهه ثم قال لو كان أسامة جريسا لحليته وكسوته حتى أنفقه Where's the problem? You want me to translate in my way or? Yeah, he was sucking the blood He was sucking the he was sucking the guy, the boy, and saying, "If he was a girl, why in the world he wished he is a girl, and why he is licking his face and sucking him?" Uh, he sucked the blood out of him. Actually, this is still done by the Jews when they circumcise the, their children. They suck. But the this blood guy out is not circumcised. This is not a circumcised. This is not circumcision. Yeah, he sucked the blood. Yeah, huh? yeah I know. It's, it's the same way. He sucked the blood away. Uh, uh, hold on. Okay. Okay, I will go with you. First, this is not as a child. Suddenly, Muhammad is sucking the blood of a face of a person, and he is wishing that this boy is a girl. Why he is wishing that he is a girl? No, he's not wishing. When he said that, what is the connection between a boy, his name is Osama, which means a lion, to be saying, if Osama were a girl, I would have adorned him. And dressed him until I marry him off. I don't know what he means by that. Maybe the boy was beautiful. I don't know. Oh, exactly, guys. Maybe the boy is beautiful. Thank you very much. So he is a perverted man. <laughs> no. Okay. What do you mean, no? You, it's you who said maybe the boy, the boy is a beautiful. <laughs> so if he is a beautiful, if the boy is a beautiful, Muhammad is sucking, sucking his face and saying, if Os Osama, I mean, the boy is a boy. How in the world and why I am saying if he is a girl? I mean, he's not a girl. What about if he's, he's a boy? What about you say, I will take care of him until he grow and get him married? You know, but he did not say that. He said if he was a girl. What is that? Same time. You see, you're a prophet in the Quran. He promised you boys too. Correct? Uh, our prophet, yeah. Uh, exactly. Why Muhammad is concentrating in the boys who they are very beautiful? Uh, everything is beautiful in, uh, in the heaven. No, no, but now you have boys. Why boys? Why not boys? Everything should be beautiful. Do you like boys? No, uh, you mean uh, if I'm gay? I'm not asking you that. I'm saying, do you like boys? I like everyone. You like boys? Yeah, but not sexually. Oh, not sexually. So why they have to be very handsome and very white and very pretty? Why not? Why not black boys? Yeah, why not black boys? Yeah, I'm asking you why why they are have to be very white. I don't know. Why okay. not? No, there is no black people in heaven of Allah. Uh, what do you mean? Like he is gonna paint everybody white? Exactly. And now because this God and this holy prophet, he's not holy, he's a racist. He like only white people. So every single person in this heaven have to be white. So you mean he hated the Bilal, the Muaddin? Well, no, Bilal, Allah will paint him white, according to Muhammad. No, but you said the Prophet hated black people. Well, obviously, uh, Muhammad, he did. Actually, Muhammad, he said a very clear hadith that black people are created to go to hell. Don't you know that? No, that, no, that can't be. G guys, he is saying this is cannot be. What if I show you the reference? Well, it says it clearly that your prophet says Allah created white people uh, from the right shoulder of Adam, and he and they were white like uh, like you know white ants and white ants. He, white ants. Yeah, here's what he said. Not me. Don't laugh. Respect your prophet, my friend. And and he said you know, he's he's laughing. He's, guys, so that means that he's gonna go to hell. No, we are coming to you with the story. Okay, hold on. Before we show you the reference, before I show you the reference, if this story is true, and your prophet, he said it, that black people, according to him, they will go to hell. Are you decent enough to leave Islam? Or does it, uh, does it matter for you? Oh, it matters. Of course, everything matters for me. 
The devil is in the detail. This is what? The devil is in the detail. Okay, but does is that enough for you? I, I, I can tell it from your Arabic uh, uh, word reading the Quran that you are from North Africa, which means either you are a Moroccan or from something like that, correct? Close enough. Uh -huh. So you are an African at the end of the day, even though they consider you as white. So according to Muhammad, the African ones, if they have a dark skin and you don't have a dark skin, those people, they are created to go to hell. So Bilal is going to go to hell according to this. Well, this is what Muhammad is saying. That doesn't make sense. There, it must mean something else. Okay. I think the black uh, is like to symbolize uh, uh, evil doers, like the evil people, and white is to symbolize uh, people who do good. So uh, ah. he can say that. Okay. Guys, did you hear Mr. Uh, 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 Abdul Wasa? He is saying that obviously the black ones, they resemble the evil ones. So if you are black, according to Mr. Abdul Wasa, you are evil. No, one. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, no, you're putting words in my mouth. I this said what, this that is, maybe black. This is what black you said, my friend. This is what you said. Don't tell me you did not say that. No, you, you misunderstood. I said that maybe the hadith means that uh, black symbolizes evil doers, people who do evil, even, even if they're white. Like, I can be white. And I can do something evil, but uh, by saying the hadith uh, might uh, say that uh, I am black because I do evil. You understand or not? Mm. Okay. But if it is saying clearly that black people they are need to go to, he to hell, then you have no excuse, correct? Yeah. Okay. And what that will make Muhammad to you if we show you that? What that it will make him unholy. That will make him unholy. Yes. Wow, that's a good deal for me. I like that, guys. Did you hear Mr. Abdul Wasa saying it clearly? So, if this is a true, that will make Muhammad unholy. Who said that? Mr. Abdul Wasa. Thank you very much. So that will solve the problem between me and you. And uh, let us go and see the hadith. Let me find the hadith. Um. Why is everybody typing one? In the chat. I don't know. Is it right? Okay. I'm just trying to find the reference, uh, the Islamic link, you know, to, to give it to you. And put it for you in the screen and you can read it for us. Give me a second. Masihi Shah. One means yes, two means focus with me, focus with me, forget about people in the chat now. I have Russian people in the chat. Okay, no. Hi. focus Everybody with me, focus with me, Russian. focus with me, focus with me. Here we go. This is the hadith. In the front, with you. my friend, this is the hadith in the front of you. I want you to read it. Is it clear or not clear? Allah's Messenger PBUH said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him. Oh yeah, I know this one. Uh, he struck his right shoulder and emitted white offspring as they were white ants. He struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring as if they were charcoal. He then said, 
to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I don't mind. Uh, then he said, those uh, for the left shoulder, they are for hell and I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so I told you, there. it must mean that, uh, like, black is something who does evil, somebody who does evil. You see, a second ago I asked you, if this hadith is true, that's mean Muhammad is unholy. Look how you, 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 you did bite your tongue and take back what you just said. It doesn't say here that those who they are doing black the, the evil. It says here that Allah created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam. And he described their color, how, how white they are. And this is that's mean from the beginning of their birth, from the beginning of their beginning. This is not after they commit sin or before they commit sin. They are white people who will go to heaven and they are created from the right hand of shoulder of Adam. That's mean they are the right people. And the black people, according to your prophet, they are created from the left shoulder, which is always symbolic for the left, wrong. So the black people are born wrong. And the white people are born right, according to your prophet, and according to Allah, because the one who said that is Allah. So Allah, he said to his messenger, that when he created Adam, he created two kinds of people. One kind will go to heaven, and one kind will go to hell. The one kind will go to heaven is the white. The one kind will go to hell is a black. Now you wanna you wanna play with it? Doesn't look good for you, Mr. Abdul Wasab. Be honest. I told you it's a metaphor. Well, okay, prove it to me, guys. It's a metaphor. Where is the metaphor there? Because it, it can't be. Because the the closest person to the Prophet peace be upon him is Bilal. He was a black person. No, he, he, he was he was not the closest person. He was his slave and he was abused all his life. He ordered him to go and do the adhan because he would not order the white people to wake up early morning, lose their voice screaming. He ordered him to walk with him wherever he go to collect donation for he is his slave, not because he have a freedom to walk around. If Muhammad was a good man and he is, this guy is close to him, we'll free him and take him as a friend. But he was always his master and he was a slave. So don't think he was close to him. Yes, actually, close. actually even well. your prophet, he made fun of him. He says, obey your master. He made Bilal because he's an African. He has a, a strong body. That's why he have them. They bought him because he's a strong man. He is a big man, African man. So they bought him and we promised him to be to be freed in the future. But they never. And then Abu Bakr, when Muhammad he died, uh, Bilal, he went to Abu Bakr. He says, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, will you free me for the sake of Allah? If you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. Stop being a hypocrite, which means. So Muhammad was not a good person to be led, otherwise he will free him. No. Why he didn't okay, why, why he did not free why he did not free him? Um he didn't ask for it. Maybe oh, he was the guy did not like, ask for it, guys. The slave don't ask for it. You know, he don't like to be free. <laughs> he liked to be slave. <laughs> okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. Listen. Uh, uh, I, I want you to focus with me. Does it say? emitted from it white offspring does it say that yes it does okay. say that so it is offspring of this person who the first white person came from the right shoulder of adam it's offspring what is the metaphor about it they are white white is a symbol for something good and black is something okay. Well, guys okay uh, the white is a symbol of a uh, uh, of good and black is simple of bad of bad I will go with you. I will go with you. How you can solve this now in the Quran? Then sure. did Allah He said that Allah will make all the non-believers with faces black? Yeah. So that means if I am already black, uh, He's not going to be able to paint me. Yeah, He will keep you black. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Abdul Wazir. I like, I love it. So, guys, if I am black, Allah cannot repaint me again. That's a good one. You got as weird, man. So, chapter three, verse one hundred six says, "Yom tabiyadu wuju, wa taswadu wuju." The day of resurrection, that some faces will be white and some faces will be black you see here the translation says shiny that's a lie it says white white if you change the translator you will see how the word white appear right away 
they lie in their translation it is the hobby of muslims when they translate they cannot be decent in any translation right we just change the translator look what happened in, uh, in the day, on the day when some faces will be light between two bracket light up white and some faces will be a, a gloom of black okay why yeah, Allah, okay hold on is that a metaphor or this is they will be black for real uh, uh, so I think I don't know. I don't know, but again, it's the same thing. It's a metaphor. White is my is friend. You are talking to Christian Prince. All the laundry of your prophet is in my head. Let us go and get Muhammad busted. Not you. I feel sorry for you. So if okay. I show you that this is not metaphor, what you will do? Just to give you more proofs, what you will do? You will I'm be gonna honest. Leave Islam. Huh? I'm gonna leave Islam. You promise? A promise of a man? Yeah, I'm a man. Guys, I'm a son of a man. Guys, Abdul Wasi, he made a promise. If I prove to him that this is not a metaphor, that Allah will make people literally black and literally white, he will leave Islam and he made a promise. And he said, he is a man, he keep his promise. I trust that on you, my friend. You sound like a man for me. Let us go and see it. If we go to the Quran, chapter 82, the chapter of the end, uh, and sorry, chapter 27, verse number 82 in the Quran. And then we go and see there's a there's a there's an uh, beast is going to call. <laughs> okay, I just saw so you know I just saw a story, right? Yes. Okay. So either what al qawlu alayhim. Hmm? What will happen? Do you know the story of the Jassasa? Alright. Alright. So guys, according to the Quran, chapter 27, verse number 82, there's a beast will come from the ground, and this beast is doing the work of Allah. Mm -hmm. uh, Abdul Wasi, what this beast will do? Do you know? I don't remember exactly. Um... Let me help you. No problem. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Let me let me help you, my friend. I'm here to help you. But it's not the Jassasa, I think. The Jassasa is another story. It's in the no, hadith. this is no, this is a Jassasa. Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a hate about the Jassasa as a woman, right? Yeah, she's very hairy. Yeah, but, uh, but, but Muhammad is very confused. But anyway, so let us go. Uh, Very hairy. And by the way, even that hairy woman, she's black too. <laughs> even yeah, the daughter of Allah is black too. <laughs> Allah, a prophet, he sent Khabib Warid to kill a woman. She have dark skin. She have a very dark hair, and she's African. You see how the evil of Muhammad is all over. Now let's go and read together. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. You see the screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Remember, this is not me saying, and this is all is coming from your prophet at the end of the day, because those Muslims, they have no authority to say, except what they learn no, from your prophet. This is, Ibn Kathir. this is not my prophet. No problem, but Ibn Kathir is saying what the Sahaba of Muhammad, according to Muhammad said. So read with me carefully, read, read, me, read with me carefully, please. There will be, so uh, this uh, Jassasa, or this uh, beast, uh, uh, will have a very funny description. It says, its head like the head of a bull, its eyes like the eyes of a pig, its ears like the ears of an elephant, its horns like the uh, horns of a stage, a stag, a snake like the neck of an ostrich, its chest like the chest of a lion. I mean, the whole zoo. Allah, he put the whole zoo in mixer and he made this beast. And then he sent it to us. And now, this is not our problem for now. Then he says here, it will bring out with it the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. There will be no believer left without making a white spot on his face, which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot on his face which will spread until his face is black as a result. And then when okay. people, they trade with one another in the marketplace, they will say, 
Oh, believer. Oh, this believer. How do they know each other? White and black. Remember, you are the one who said, if this is not a metaphorical, you will leave Islam. Uh, f first of all, I said that white symbolizes um, what I meant is uh, like the white people coming from the right shoulder, the white symbolizes good, okay? And black symbolizes uh, bad. But there is actually no contradiction between this and that. So it could be as well physical, like uh, not a metaphor, but still the white is like a, a symbol for I something. Say, I said, you said you are a man, and I said, I trust that you are a man. Is that really what it says in front of you? Does it say? No, that this one, al this al one says it's physical. Just yeah. says, my friend, al Jassasa, al Jassasa will hit them in their face with the, st with the, with the ring of Solomon. And the staff of, of uh, 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 so, yeah, the ring of Solomon and the staff of Moses. And the result of that, it will leave a white spot on the Muslim face. And that will make him white. And will do the same for the one who disbelieve. And that end will make him black. And now you keep saying there's no contradiction and this is the same? Yeah, and second of all, this is not the, the prophet's uh, work. No, it's, uh, Take care. Take care. I have, you see, I don't respect liars. I'm not going to waste my time. If this is not your private words, why it is there? You see how they are ashamed of their prophet. He is unholy. This is not a talk of a holy man. We show them the hadith saying, from the offspring of the black man which is coming from the left shoulder they will go to hell he said this metaphor we show them that even allah will send the beast he will hit the face of a disbeliever and he will make him black still he is saying this metaphor you are not a man you are not a man you said, if I can show you that, you will leave Islam. And this is the word of the Messenger of Allah, not the words of Ibn Kathir. Read carefully. So she will hit the beast the nose of Sulaiman with the staff. It's your prophet saying that. See the cowardness? So see how they regret what they say? So Muhammad, child molester, he agree. He's a bit of fire, he don't know. Muhammad, he jumped with dirty dogs. They are dead. Stinky water. Women menstruation. Muhammad, he go after his own son, wife. When the husband is not there, he flirt with her. Muhammad, he made a rule that if he see a woman, her husband must leave her so the prophet can if her. And this person, he claimed to be a decent man. He promised if I show him, he will leave Islam. Now, you are the one who is watching. I don't know if you are a Christian or a Muslim. Be honest. Is that a metaphor? Is that really a metaphor? When we say, they say to you, Christian Prince, he hang up on people. There's no point of continue talking to a, to a liar. I'm just wasting my time. The conversation is ended. There's no nothing here. It's about hitting his face. Hitting his face. That metaphor. Making white spot in his face. Is that metaphor? Muhammad is even make it more clear. He says his nose. Is that metaphor? How in the world 
this person he keeps saying to me this is metaphor I will call him one more time because people they are asking for it but you lost my respect Mr. Abdul Wazir. Why you hang up? Because you are lying to me. <coughs> Sorry. I you told said, you this is not you the said prophet's the, word. This is not the prophet. I, okay, no, this is the prophet word. Here we go. Read with me. It says that the messenger of Allah, he said. There is a lag, wait. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So is that metaphor? Will... Is that a metaphor? The animal said, is, okay. is, is the animal a metaphor? Is the staff of Musa a metaphor? Is the ring of Solomon a metaphor? Is hitting the nose of the Kafir a metaphor? Is hitting the nose, the, 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 uh, hitting the, the, uh, the believer is a metaphor? Okay. Hmm. So this is the prophet's word. Where does it say here that uh, there, there are going to be black or white spots? Well, this is how they recognize it. The, the Quran says, my friend, Tabiyaddu Wuju, what does what do we do? Muhammad was explaining oh. the verse. I'm talking about this hadith, don't jump. Yeah, this is the hadith right. about that verse. The Quran says, Tabiyaddu Wuju, what does what do we do? So uh, faces will be black, faces will be white. Okay? Muhammad saying that there's an animal who come from the ground, having the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and will hit the nose of the kafir. Okay, where does it say black or white? In the Quran. Well, in the Quran, I told you it's uh, it could be physical, like no, it cannot be. Could, no, it cannot be. Could be because your prophet explaining the verse. He do not need to repeat to make it black and white. Already he is mentioning the verse, and now he is explaining the verse, saying that there's a beast will come from the ground, and that beast will have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and is going to hit the nose of the kafir by the staff of Moses. You the one who said to me that this is metaphorical about the verse in the Quran, correct? Uh, it could be both actually don't, don't tell be... me both don't tell me both now you switch you said in the beginning it is metaphorical and you said to me if it's not metaphorical you leave Islam here we go your prophet is explaining the verse your prophet is explaining the verse why this hadith is mentioned here why it is here because here is the explanation of the verse and who is the one is explaining the hadith it's your prophet Explain the verse you mean, but uh, how do you know this? This hadith, uh, how like the this is Ibn Kathir, right? Mm -hmm. And Ibn Kathir took this hadith and put it under this verse. Mm -hmm. How how did he find the relationship between this hadith and the verse? Because this is what happened. Because you Muslims, don't you have books of history where it says when the Prophet he said that he explained that. Because you see, this hadith here is not really what happened only. The hadith is way longer, but they are quoting for you from the whole story. This, because this is the one, this is the part which explained those sentences that faces will be white and faces will turn black. So your prophet, he is the one who is saying that. And he is saying in the judgment day, there is a beast will come and this beast is going to make you black or white. How? Physically, by hitting you by the staff of Musa as if you are a kafir in your nose and by hitting you with the ring of Solomon in your skin if you are a believer. The result of that, you turn very, very white. Right. Hmm. So what is your problem with this uh, verse? I, I don't understand. It, it's a proof that it is physical. Here we go. You see, even the translation here says, you see, maybe you know good Arabic, right? It says, حَتَّى يَجْتَمِعُ النَّاسُ عَلَى الْخُوَانِ يُعْرَفُ الْمُؤْمِنُ مِنَ الْكَافِرِ So what will happen? It says, what to jelly? You said to me, what is the word white? Here we go. What does khiwan mean? What to jelly mean is going to make him shiny white. Okay. Okay, so he said that it's going to make you shiny white. So it's going to make you shiny white. And this is how people, they describe themselves or they recognize each other. So the, a black person, they will say to him, oh, this believer, a, a white person, oh, a believer. Okay, where is the problem? 
You said if this is literally, you will leave Islam. No, no, I said that white represents good things. And black Take care. I certified you as a potato. And you are not a man. <clears throat> You are a certified potato, and you are not a man. You made a promise, everybody heard you. If this is really not metaphorical, you will leave Islam. Actually, you already left Islam. Because you made a promise in front of everybody, and supposed to Allah's God is watching. If this is a true, you will leave Islam, you are out, because this is true. But you are trying to deny it. <clears throat> we have a, a Muslim, he's trying to call us. Uh, I am Al Ahmed, uh, hey, I am Alhamdulillah. Muslim, call me and I will bury you. You call me uh, while I am busy. Call me after five hours. <laughs> you will bury me. Me. Call me after five hours and you will bury me. You cannot bury me now. You are busy. What you are doing, Nikah? Like, come on. And your name is Shahnur? Shahnur Sayyid, call me after five hours and I will bury you. That's deep. Five hours. If you call me four hours and 59 minutes, I can do it. <laughs> Come on, you can't beat this comedy. Be honest with me, guys. Can you find any program in a TV is better than this? Look, here we have comedy. Here we have knowledge. Here we expose liars. Here we whip the floor with them. And here Jesus is victorious. It can't be better than this. It cannot be. Man. So my friend, Islam is not coming from a holy God. This guy, he agreed already that his God is the one who employs Shaitan. Shaitan work for Allah. Shaitan, he is sent by Allah to deceive his prophet. Shaitan deceived the prophet. Allah, he fixed what Shaitan did. I mean, look at this stupidity. So Shaitan, he sent to take a screw from the belly of Muhammad. Muhammad start leaking from his belly. Allah said to Muhammad, Billy, don't worry, I'm going to put the screw back. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh boy. Man, one day I will die with heart attack from laughing. Oh boy. <sighs> okay. Actually, the Quran confirmed what this guy he said that Allah he sent Satan's to his prophets he sent Satan's brother they work for him and those shaitans who work for Allah look 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 all those verses and you know when you see the Quran and you see the Quran attacking Satan and then we find that Satan he worked for Allah I mean how stupid is that
So why those verses saying don't follow Shaitan? And you are the one who said Shaitan. <laughs> And you know, but the funny, by the way, when the Quran says that Allah He sent uh, to every prophet Shaitan, Allah He employee. Let us open the verse. Chapter 6, verse 112. Read with me, Allah. Look, look at the translation. It says evil one. Does it say evil one or says shaitan? Sh Satan's. I mean, look at this false translation. Where the word evil one is coming from? It says, جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍ عَدُوٌ شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسَ وَالْجِنِّ شَيَاطِينَ Change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us take the different Abdul. Right away, you will see how the Quran changed, brother. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. You know, who can do miracle like Allah? I mean, we, we have to be honest here. It's a miracle, brother. Hmm. Uh, where is the verse? Okay. Hmm. Do you see it? Who is the one who employee Satan's Allah? Who is the boss of Satan's Allah? Who is the one who sent them Allah? Why Allah he do that? Read carefully. And so we have appointed for every prophet enemies, Satan's between two bracket devils among the mankind and the jinns Allah is the one who appointed shaitan are you suffering from Satan Allah is Satan is Satan tempting you deceiving you Allah is Satan Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget guys to leave a comment I noticed that you guys you watch my video but you don't leave a comment the more comment you do the more uh, uh, the video will show up in the search engine in YouTube and for sure I want you to make a comment just not to say just words I want you to make comment about what you think what's what you heard what people said don't be just a, so lazy lazy to the point I mean look I give from my day the best hours of my day and to be honest with you after I finish talking about this faith religion, I feel disgusted. That the whole day is gone. All of this, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm the last one, Islam can deceive me. I'm the last one can be fooled by such a cult. I'm the last one can be fooled by somebody who want to be a pimp, provide me a vaginas. I'm not seeking vaginas. This God is the God of the vagina. What you get if you believe in him? Vagina. What you get if you believe in him? Long penis. What you get if you believe in him? 70 years orgasm. This is vagina God. And he made them kiss it. The black stone was a vagina. This is why you see Abu Bakr he said to somebody he don't believe in Islam, he said to him, go and suck the clitoris of Allah. What the clitoris? Where was located? Where we can find it? That is the black stone. The black stone which Muslims worship Claiming that eh, they are just the prophet, he kiss it. So we kiss it. Okay, why the prophet kiss it? Uh, because uh, you know, uh, you know, because he kiss it, we kiss it. Okay, why he kiss it? 
they can't give you an answer because it's very embarrassing فَقَالَ أَبُو بَكْرُ إِمْسُسْ بَذْرَ اللَّعْدُ Abu Bakr, he said to him, go and suck the clits of a lad. Can you believe it? Yesterday we showed you Muhammad saying, go and suck the penis of, or bite the penis of your father. Did you guys say the reference? Do you remember it? This is Islam. A Muslim, he will pose for you the Song of Songs. He said, do you know what the Song of Songs is saying? First of all, the Song of Songs is not God talking. Secondly, this is not even about women. This is about a king making a poetry. That's why it's called Song, you idiot. And by the way, the Muslim, they were making fun of the Song of Songs for centuries. The second did that, he says, Muhammadim, da -dum -dum -da -dum is there. Suddenly, the Song of Songs became about, became about Muhammad. Suddenly, Muhammad, he have a grass in his chest. Suddenly, Muhammad became a city. <laughs> Suddenly Muhammad became Jerusalem. <laughs> uh, look at this uh, this kid. Uh, Islam, the way, the way to what? To the sewage? We just showed you your prophet. He took the way of Islam and he went to the sewage directly. And he took a shower there every day. So guys, look what the, what the Muslim they say. They can debate me, and they are desperate. So look what they say. Boza hmm. <laughs> Baza, who? No one want to see CP face. All they want him to accept a challenge in public debate. You stupid! How public it can be? We have one thousand five hundred people watching live. It is more public than YouTube, where there's billions of people. They can see it. Have you ever heard of a public debate better than this? You need to prepare for a century to make 1,500 or 2,000 to attend. It's for free. Public debate? Isn't it? This is public. Are we private? You want to debate me? Public debate. So what is this? Are we in the bathroom? I turned the clear to debate me and I told him bring 2,000 people and fly all the way to Bangladesh and I'm going to debate you that's what he said to me in, in, in Facebook the coward potato uh, Zach and I he wanted to bring 2,000 people with me <laughs> guys I'm so rich I can pay for your ticket though and you know what where we will go to Bangladesh I mean uh, people will come like crazy I mean the second you say Bangladesh they will like like what we will go to Bangladesh I don't even need to convince them. I mean, like, this is the destiny. Uh, hey, Fatima, how are you? Hello. Uh, hello. You are a shake and you say hello? Wait, huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, are you free? Because I see, I know, I know, I saw uh, that you were debating and you were quite busy. So I know I shouldn't have called at wrong times. But are you free right now? Yeah, I'm free right now. What do you want to say to us? Are you in Bangladesh now? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you in Bangladesh now? No, I'm not from Bangladesh. Oh, okay. Because Zakir Naik he invited me to go to Bangladesh to debate him. Uh, I, I I don't listen to Zakir Naik myself. Zakir Why, Naik, wrong? I don't want to hear about what, him. What's wrong with Zakir Naik? What's wrong? Z Z Zakir Naik is not a scholar. He's a dai. There's a difference between a dai and a scholar. Okay, are you a scholar? I never claim to be a scholar. No, I said sheikh. Sheikh, what does that mean? Okay, all right. So you now you want to play these games? I I don't want. I don't have time for this. The other day, did you say? If you don't have, if, if, if you don't have, oh, listen, listen. If you don't have time, then hang up. You did. You, were you talking about Surah Al Minun, verse fourteen, where it says Allah is the best of creators? Yes or no? Yes. Huh? Uh huh. Okay. So, hmm. what is the Arabic word used in that verse? Since you're an Arabic scholar. Khaliqin. Khaliqin. What does that mean? Creators. Okay. Why is the word Badia not used? What Badia mean? 
Badia means to create something from nothing. Badia means create something from nothing? To originate. <laughs> Unique. Okay. Many, okay. many work, work okay, works. Good. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. So when when you create something from nothing, hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the power to create something from nothing. Really? Like he created the sky, for example. Hmm. He created many things from nothing. But a human being hmm. can be a creator in the sense where hmm. they create something from a material. For example, hmm. if you have a tree, hmm. can you can a human being create a tree if they have wood? They hmm. can. That's why the word khalaqa is used. Hmm. But can they create a tree without wood? They can't. Hmm. So it's in less insignificance, hmm. if you understand, but you don't know the Arabic. That's why you just told me what is Badia. Uh, you not know you claim to be an Arabic okay. scholar. Uh, guys, I do not know Arabic. Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Hmm? Speak to me in Arabic. Hmm? Well, if you don't know, why would I speak to you? you I'm idiot. asking you, you a question. Because you're an answer. idiot. You just said to me, I do not know Arabic, and you are teaching me Arabic, but you yourself do not know Arabic. How, how do I not know? Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Go ahead. What, what do you want me to tell you? Tell me whatever you want. Tell me whatever you said now in Arabic. I told you. I said the word Badia. No, no, no. no. Said, tell, me that, tell, me, tell me the whole story in Arabic. Forget about English. Start from zero. Tell me in Arabic what you said. Answer my question. <laughs> Answer my question first. So you are teaching, an Arab, you are teaching an Arab person Arabic, but you do not know speak what Arabic words. So what Badia mean? Look, I asked you a question, right? Abdul, so you Abdul, Ab it. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Uh, 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 you know, I like you. Honestly, you are, you are. You, this is why you call yourself Fatima because you think you are a girl, right? I, I, I told you about that. I, I said it's not even my Skype account. I don't uh, want to hear that. But, I asked but, you a question. But, why but, can't but, you? But okay, answer but you keep it. Why but you keep jumping? it. Okay, okay. Hold why are on. you jumping? Okay, hold on, hold on. So, if Allah is the originator of everything, correct? Correct. All right. Who is the originator of the leg of Allah? Of what? The leg of Allah. You're talking about Surah Qalam 68 verse 42? I don't know. You know better. Okay, yeah. That's talking about the greatness of Allah. Okay. okay no, There's who, something called who, Sifat. If you understand. <coughs> don't fool people. Hmm. So, uh, uh, so what does Shin of Allah present here? It's talking about the greatness of Allah. You so, know the verse. So, uh, you want to post the verse so, so people okay, can read? Uh, this is not a question. I'm asking you. Who is the one who created the Shin of Allah? Well, the, the, that's a foolish question to ask. What are Why? you trying to say? Why? What are you trying to prove? Well, because Allah is a physical being and He have a shin. And no, you, no, and no, you, no, 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 no. That's you, why it says, "Wallam yakullahu kufu wa nahad." Okay, nothing is equal to Him. Who cares? No, nothing equal to my dog too. That, that that's why that's why there's surah al-ikhlas. Okay, this is not the question. Allah you have shen. spreaded many, many Ab lies. Ab I see Ab multiple, Ab multiple let us, let us lies. Let us you say that let the us Prophet okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you scream. You said he's stolen don't, underwear. Don't you scream. Don't no scream. Proof. Don't change the topic. Don't change. You're, you're, no, you, you, you see, no the, sec the second we, we go try to be consistent in the topic, you, you start jumping, trying to. Don't force me to hang up on you. Don't be a kid. So I'm asking you now. Is the shin of Allah? I'm not a kid. You is, tell me. I is, want reference. Is the shin Is the shin of Allah physical or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be described. He's this not is not the question. He cannot be described. Yes. Did he say he's not, he's not physical? I, I just explained to you. You're no. not listening. Can you this confirm? I am listening now. Can you confirm for the second time that Allah is not physical? Can you let me speak? Here we go. The same game. Can you let me speak? <laughs> You're not letting me speak. You're not. I, I stopped talking. I'm waiting for you. you kept, I have to keep repeating my question. Okay. Are you going to I speak? Said, yes, you can speak. I said is Allah, Allah is, not, is, is, Allah is a physical. Shut, shut up. I'm asking the question now. You answer after I finish. Is Allah a person who is a physical being? Your mic. First of all, you're saying, is Allah a person? That doesn't make sense what you're saying right there. He's not he a is the creator. And when the way you describe him, you say, There's not like me. I have hands, right? For example, I have hands. This is another question. They're physical. I move them. Hey, Abdul, listen, focus, focus. Stop drinking camera urine. I'm asking you, is Allah is a physical being or not? You know, you must you must watch a lot of Zakir Naik videos. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. I watch it. We want to laugh, you see. <laughs> Same as people who watch it too. <laughs> so, is Allah a physical being or not? No. Is Allah is a I, physical I, I being? I answered you. I said no. no okay, guys. Okay, physical. so now it's my time to prove it. Read carefully with me. This is your prophet. Go ahead. This is your prophet saying that they asked Muhammad, "Are we going to see Allah?" 
in the day of resurrection? Muhammad okay. says, do you have difficulty to see the sun in midday when it's bright okay. and there's no cloud in the sky? They replied, no. He said, do you have any difficulty seeing the moon in a full moonlight when it's bright? They said, no. Here, here he replied, the prophet said, well, this is how you will see Allah. No difficulty seeing Allah. Is that something they will see physically or not? You're so twisting the criteria over here. You're you're trying to twist it. I I explained to you. You see how when you speak, I let you speak. Stop I don't making a speech. Is, I don't talk uh, over you. Stop being stupid. Give me the answer right away. Don't give me a lecture before I'm you know. I'm giving you the answer no, as no. long as you be okay, quiet, no. respectful. Are they going to see Allah literally, or they will not see Allah? People will see Allah in Jannah. What they will when see? When they make it to Jannah, okay, what they, they will they, see Allah. Okay, what they will see? But the way Allah looks is the question. I go back to the verse. In many verses Okay, in the guys, Quran, did he say yes. the way Allah looks? Did he say the way Allah looks? <laughs> no, but you're not letting me finish. Uh, no, I'm you're not letting me finish. finish. You are talking. I'm talking too. He, you just said the way Allah looks. So Allah is a shirk. We don't know that. Is it, we is, don't know how he looks. You just, you we, just, we said, you just said the way Allah looks. You you will when you go to Jannah, uh -huh. you will see Allah's face. But right now we haven't seen him, so we is, don't know how he looks. Okay, That's guys, why you will see what, Allah. What is you will see Allah. Face. You will see Allah face. Did you hear it? So is Allah face is physical? You cannot describe it. This is not. I'm not, I'm not asking Abdul to describe it. I'm saying, is it physical or not? I just literally told you you cannot describe it. Okay, you just say it face. Well, yes. The second you say face, it's mean face. There's something called ass, and there's something called face. So Allah have a face, wonderful. So the second you say since, face, okay. Since, so, since hold, you, hold since, on, hold on. Since, so hold is, on, that hold face, on. is that you, face? You, is, is that don't, face? Don't play games with me. Is that, you, is a, that a face? For, you, you is that not, a real face or it's a fake face? You, you, since you claim to watch a lot of Zakir Naik videos, didn't Zakir Naik talk about this? No, I mean, you're I, a huge fan I, I, of him. I'm not. Okay, tell me, you what, tell me what Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, he said, I can play the video for you, we'll die laughing. <laughs> Zakir Naik, Z Zakir no, Naik, Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, he says Allah is a physical being. He never said that. He said Allah have a hand. Yeah, he said Allah has hands, but you cannot describe them. Who care? So is that a physical hand or not? Uh, exactly, he just told you you cannot describe. It. Okay, is it a physical? Okay, is, it? okay, hold on, stupid. I'm not asking you to describe it, you donkey. No problem to, to hang up on you. I'm asking you. Allah have two hands. How many hands Allah have? Uh, what does what what does the Quran say? You yeah. know the Quran, you, right? You are the sheikh, not me. Huh? You are the sheikh. Two hands. Two hands, Correct? guys. You have two hands. Okay, how many legs? The whatever the Quran says. You tell me. Two, correct. Two. Correct. Where, where, where it says you have two legs, two legs. Can you show me the verse? Two hands. Two hands. You cannot hear no, me. I ask you about. Hey, just as you go, stupid idiot. I'm not. I'm not here to to, to play to play with kids. Don't call me again, stupid. I just asked you about legs, and you said two Ooh. legs. Everybody heard you. Potato. Where does uh, mosquitoes come from? I just said two legs, and you said two legs. I, I, how many legs Allah have? You said two legs. The second I said to him, where well, says that? I, I said two hands. <laughs> no time for kids. Abdul, potato. You are a joker. Your God Allah, even he have a shape. And not only that, he changed his shape. Like what the heck? He is brother. He do play hide and seek. What? Allah, he will come to them in a shape? Yes, brother. And they will not recognize him. Then, brother, what will happen after? Allah, he will go to his bedroom and he will change his shape. Like, what? Allah have many shape. We ask him, is Allah physical? The coward, he said, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Read carefully, read carefully. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Like, what the heck? He just told me nobody can describe Allah. He just told me nobody saw Allah. Is the face of Allah is a physical? Nobody can describe Allah. Like, this is not the question. 
Now suddenly, the Muslim, they know how Allah looked like. So look, Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. And they will say, I am your Lord. You know, I don't know, I'm not reading correctly because, you know, Muslims, when they read Islam or something, they, they, they make echo. You go to a Muslim chat room in Paltok, they love echo, they worship it. They are number one people who use echo in the world. So they read for you, they say, Allah will come to them, to them, to them, to them, in the shape, in the shape, in the shape, in the other land, they knew, 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 knew. And he will say, 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 I am your Lord, 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 Lord. They will say, we seek, seek, seek refuge, 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 with Allah, Allah, Allah. And from this place, our place, 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 place. The most hilarious chat rooms is Muslim chat room, where nobody dare to chat. You know, once I went to a chat room, Muslim chat room, everybody have red dot, which means nobody can use text. So I text the guy, you can text him in private, if he's, his, his account open to receive the message. I said, uh, what this uh, what what they are to, what what he's playing in the in the audio? He said, uh, I don't know. Is it on to Muslim? He said, Yeah. He said, So you don't know what he's saying? He said, I don't speak Arabic. He said, Why why everybody have red dot? Aren't they all Muslims? He said, Yes. He said, so why they have red dot? They cannot chat. He says, Because it's not allowed. I said, Allowed what? Not allowed to ask questions. <coughs> It's education time. It's education time. You join the classroom and don't ask a question, brother. University of no questions. Everybody will graduate with degree of Sharia law. You will learn when it is halal to shave your underarm. But don't ask questions. They are serious. A Muslim girl, she called the Sharia TV law, Sharia program, and she asked a, a, a brother, <clears throat> she, obviously she is a whore, you know, the way she was talking, she was um, very, very bad, you know, but maybe she is just making fun, I don't know. Uh, she called the sheikh, the two sheikhs, Assalamu alaikum, the sheikh, he said, Wa alaikum salam, sister. She said, my sister, told me that when I take off my clothes, the fish, they start shaking when I take off my clothes, see my beautiful body, and I'm naked. The shake, he starts sweating. The other guy, he's drinking water. He, he whipped the whole water in his mouth. And then, <clears throat> okay, the <yeah>, sister, <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> so you are in your room and you take off your clothes and the sh fish is shaking. Sister, I, I think, well, Iyazubillah, sister, those uh, fish are genie and they are looking at your pure, beautiful body, sister. I advise you, sister, not to take off your clothes in the front of the fish tank, sister. Uh, the girl, she said, oh, but this is the only room I have. Then the guy, he said, <clears throat> okay, sister. <clears throat> A sister, I think it's better for you then if they cover it by blanket. Like, what the heck? You see how serious the program? I mean, the girl, she's taking off her clothes. And the fish is masturbating. What a dirty fish. What a filthy son of a muta fish. I mean, shame on you. We bring you to our house. We put you in a fish tank. We feed you every day, and now you are going to watch Fatima taking off her clothes, and you masturbate, you filthy. If I am you, I will barbecue the fish. I will shoot it. A fish shaking when she is taking her panty? Like, what the heck? Scientifically approved, brother. The same thing. You ask them, Okay, Allah have a shin. How the, uh, what, how, what is the shin of Allah? You cannot ask questions. Allah, he sit in the chair. How is the chair? You cannot ask questions. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Hey, Muslims, we Christian, we say hallelujah. What about you? You start saying shinanuya. Your God is a shin. All your God is. What is Okay, if Allah is a shin, his face is where? In the shin? That's deep.
Yeah, you know, like you go to the you go, you go to do do fishing if you go fishing, and you will see the guy who is very handsome. A lot he will get a lot of fish, because female fish they get uh, horny when they see him. You know. I think that the male fish, only the one is coming to me. You know, they are those uh, homosexual fish. <laughs> they look at me and this guy look like so manly. Oof. You know, crazy religion, man. What a stupid cult. A guy, he opened the door in his wife. He saw his wife touching herself. He posted in internet about what he saw. The answer from the sheikh, brother, she is having sex with the genie. Like, what the heck? He opened the door. He saw his wife touching herself. What is the solution? What is my wife doing? The sheikh, he have the answer. She is having sex with the genie. It's not like this Abdul is a stupid. He should go and he jump in the bed instead of her touching herself. <laughs> no, it is the genie having sex with her. Like, what? My friend, Islam is a pure logical religion. And everything there is certain, 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 certain what the word? Scientific, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <clears throat> what we can say? What we can say? You can say nothing. A question. All this knowledge is coming from the pure prophet, brother. Can a jinn have sex with my wife? Look at the question. Like, what? Brother, what? This is the question? Answer. When a man has intercourse, this is the hadith, with his wife, and does not say the name of Allah, and he say the prayer, the jinn, the shaitan, will call around his yur, yurtra, yurtra, I'm saying the word correctly, and has intercourse along with him. Like, what the heck? There's a smart Muslim, he used to come to a Christian chat room, and they give him the mic, and each time they give him the mic, he say the same, you Christians, you are the sons of shaitan. The Christians they didn't know what he's saying. What he's saying, the way you are saying of Shaitan, he thought like he's there because they don't believe in the same God, supposedly. Maybe, but I know what he's talking about. He's talking about this. So uh, the admin there he sent me a message, says, Can you please get this guy busted? We don't know what to say to him. I know you can do it. So I said, Man, I'm busy doing working. I said, just come on, take the mic for a minute. So I took the microphone, I said to him, So why you are saying that uh, Christians are he said, because the prophet, he said that if you don't say the prayer, or, you know, shaitan will round himself around your penis and he will be doing boom boom to your mother. <laughs> I was laughing. I took the microphone again. I said, are you sure? Because you're going to speak at the same time. He said, I'm sure, but so absolutely. I said, this is Sahih Hadith. Are you sure? He said, this is, I'm very sure. <laughs> very sure. You are a son of Satan. <laughs> I said, are you sure? He said, the three times you eat it, how many times I need to repeat for you? Because Muhammad, he asked three times always. So I said, well, based on what you just said, Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan because Muhammad father he wasn't a believer and Muhammad mother she wasn't a believer therefore when he did boom boom to her he did not say the prayer therefore shaitan he round himself around the penis of Muhammad father and he was doing it all night to his mother I should say the Abdul he took the microphone may Allah curse you may Allah kill you <laughs> You are smart like the devil. <laughs> hey, Abdul, took it. I to take it easy. It's you who said to me this is true. What's wrong with you? I asked you three times, are you sure? You said, I'm sure. Are you sure? That's why the Muslim, they, they say in the article, if a Christian prince, he said, I am sure. Are you sure? Hang up. Like, what the heck? When you hear a Christian prince saying to you, are you sure? 
You should hang up and claim that your internet is lost. Hey Muslims, Muhammad is a holy prophet. Are you sure? I'm sure you are sure. Very sure. And very mature. And very genius. I mean, look at this. Who knows this safe prophet of a god? And here the reference, brother. Look at the reference, brother. Al-Hakim al hakim al turmudi he said in the book, etc., in the page, etc., blah blah blah, etc. He says the reader from Mujahid when a man when a man has intercourse with his wife and he does not name Allah. The jinn calls around his penis and has intercourse along with him. I don't know how women they feel with this. Three some three some and you don't know. You guys are doing threesome and you have no idea. Actually, there is more funny story about supposedly Solomon. Anyone remember the story we read to you before? Solomon, when he lost the ring, how he lost the ring, by the way? He went to the bathroom, you remember? He went to the bathroom, he gave it to his wife. His wife, his name is Jarada. So, Shaitan, he took the look of Solomon, brother, and he come to the wife, and he made himself, he just left the bathroom. She gave him the ring, and by wearing the ring, he controlled the kingdom. And same, a very nice cartoon movie. And then the wives, and, and then and, they, and, he, and he ordered the soldiers to kick Suleiman from the, from the palace. Like, what the heck? The real king now is out of the palace. But the wives, when Suleiman, he went to the bedroom, they noticed that he is so good in boom boom business. This is the mistake of the devil. He was doing boom boom to the wives of Suleiman non-stop. Like one after one after one. They said to him, Don't you want to eat? Aren't you tired? No, 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 we want to continue. Come on, we need to take a break, man. Fire is coming from there. He says, No, 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 we continue, we continue. So the wives they went to the elders of the kingdom and they reported how horny he is, and they said, This is unusual. And then the elder, by this incident that he is so good in bed, they discover that this is not the true Solomon. Which is really funny because according to Muhammad, Solomon, he can have sex with 99 women in one night. I mean, what? Me, myself, I cannot do it. I mean, I mean 97 maybe, 96 to be honest. Uh, you know, like, okay, that is not to exaggerate, 95 maybe, but 99 women in one night, yes, Prophet Muhammad, he said that he, he wanted to have children to have to do jihad, but he forgot to say, inshallah. And based on this, shaitan was calling around his penis too. <laughs> anyway, to make the long story short, as you see, Islam is just, just a joke. Islam is just a stupid religion. You cannot be really a serious person and you believe in such a madness. I hope people they learn good today. And do we have any, any Muslim want to say anything? If there is any Muslim want to say anything. Uh, anyone all right well guys don't forget to download the videos and share with your friends and uh, please don't load the video right away wait for 24 hours you can download the video right away always download the video right away because you never know so download the videos but don't 
load them until 24 hours pass and please later those who watch it don't forget to leave a comment you know on underneath of the video because that will bring more people to watch it and more people to uh, discuss you know uh, <clears throat> Okay, we have a request from an ex-Muslim. You remember the lady who left Islam? So she is saying, uh, chapter 46, verse number 12. Okay, we will do this. I was going to, to finish, actually, but let us go there. Uh, this lady, she left Islam, and uh, she have a request. All right, chapter 46, she is asking. Her parents is next to her, and she wants to, me to discuss this verse. I'm not sure what is the question, but this verse is simply clean. <clears throat> uh, in order to understand it, you have to read the verses before it. If you go from verse number 9, Allah he said to Muhammad, uh, you know, tell them that I am not, I am just a messenger, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not a new thing. I'm just a messenger among many messengers who came before me. And I'm just following uh, wahi, which means inspiration. But all of us, we knew that Muhammad, he received Quran, not by inspiration. All right. And then, yeah, Musa, he got the command in Arabic. Okay, we'll go there. And then it says, uh, say to them, Allah saying to Muhammad, Allah said to Muhammad, uh, well, don't you see that uh, who is from uh, uh, Allah? Will we see who is from Allah or not? Because Muhammad cannot be from uh, from God anyway. Let us say for the sake of argument, Allah is was the God. But if Allah is the God, He will not say stupid things. He, he will not. He will know how the earth is created. He will not say in one verse He created the stars first and the mountains second, and then in the different verse He said the opposite. So obviously, we know that Allah is a fake God. Now, we continue. And uh, there is a witness, supposedly, uh, who is witnessing to Muhammad. So a person who is a Jew, the Muslim, they claim his name is Abdullah ibn Salam. But just to confirm to you, there's Jews, they don't call the word Abdullah. They don't use the word Abdullah. That is a false name. So all the names you see here, they are fabricated. After they convert to Islam, Muhammad starts giving them different names. And even Muhammad himself, he is not the son of Abdullah, because if Abdullah was a Muslim, Abdullah is the father of Muhammad, then he should be a believer. But Muhammad, he confirmed that his father is not a believer. And you will notice that all the uncle of Muhammad, they are Abdu Manaf, Abdu, Abdu Uzza, they are the slaves of, of, of idols. And the father of Muhammad should be one of them. They change the name to. So then he says that there is a witness on this. He's a Jew. And then those who just believe, they say, uh, which is the verse doesn't make sense. If those who disbelieve uh, uh, believe of our, be before us, or those disbelieve it before us, uh, uh, and those who disbelieve between them to bracket strong and wealthy, say to those who believe the weak and the poor. And here you see the deception. Isn't it Uthman was one of the most rich people of Quraysh? Isn't it Muslim they claim that the family of Muhammad are the most wealthy one? Isn't Muhammad he claim, and Muslim they claim that Umar was from a noble family and he was wealthy, same as Abu Bakr? Isn't it Muhammad he married the most rich women of Quraysh, Khadija? So how those who they are believers are weak? Because who is the first believers of Muhammad? 70 people. The one who the, are the poor is the one owned by the Muslims, which means they believed not by choice, they are slaves of them. The rest are rich. So the rich own the slaves, the slaves are believed in the master belief because they have no choice. And now the Quran claimed that the one who believe in Muhammad are the poor and the weak. That is a false argument. And then he said, he continues saying, and before this was the scriptures of Moses, Moses as a guide of uh, and mercy, and this is a confirming book, the Quran, in the Arabic language. Okay, uh, uh, the one who said that the book of Moses is the Arabic is not what the verse is saying. Maybe the translation sometimes is not clear, 
what the Quran is saying that the Quran itself is in Arabic the Quran itself is in Arabic but here you notice something very important I'm glad she pointed this verse for us why the Muslim they say the Torah and the Bible are corrupted this verse says confirming the book of Moses confirmed وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ مُصَدِّقًا مُصَدِّقٌ We carefully hold it here. وَمِنْ قَبْلِهِ كِتَابٌ مُوسَى إِمَامًا وَرَحْمَةً وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لِسَانًا عَرَبِيًا It's okay. So the book of Moses, the book of Muhammad is a book confirming the book of Moses. So why Muslim they keep saying the Old Testament and they make fun, they make fun of the of the Song of Songs, they make fun of uh, of stories in the Bible, they make fun of Lut, how his daughters did, what they did with him. When the Bible confirmed that this is what they did, it's not what God told them. See, in the Quran says that the wives of Lot, she was a whore. Does that mean that God, he made her a whore? So here you see the dishonesty. But here the important is verse. This is the Quran confirming the Torah, not the Torah confirming the Quran. And this is the Quran confirming the Torah, which means proving that all the fabrication of Muslims above the Torah is invalid. Because why the Quran confirm it? And you can change the translation if you don't like this translation. Anything else? Any other question? <clears throat> so this verse is not saying that the, the, the Torah is in Arabic. This verse is saying that the Quran confirming the Torah, which destroy everything Muslim they claim. Anything else? And there's tons of verses in the Quran confirming the Bible and the Torah. Starting from the beginning of the Quran. As you see here, chapter two, verse number 89. And when there's come a book, come to the a book of Allah, confirming what is with them. You see, it says what is with them. In Ar the Arabic is so clear. Musaddiqan lima ma'ahum. Some false translation they say to you what was with them. This is what Arabic says. You can copy the Arabic actually. You can copy it and post it in Google Translation just to get them busted. All right. So the Quran always confirmed the Bible and the purpose Muhammad was saying that at that moment, Muhammad was trying to make the Christians accept him as a prophet. So he was going with them. We confirm, we believe, Isa was born of a virgin. And the, the reason Muhammad, he called Isa, Isa, I believe that because he thought that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she is the mother of Jesus according to the book of the tradition not the bible the bible says that this woman she did not have uh children the bible never mentioned that she married and she have a children but according to some uh, tradition books this is what muhammad heard from the jews that maryam she is the sister of aaron and she have a son his name is isa This is why the name coming from here. And then Kabul Ahbar, which is a big supported scholar of the, of the Hebrew people, came to Muhammad and he said to him, uh, he did not find Muhammad, he found the Aisha. He said to her, but this is wrong. There's, a, there's hundreds of years between Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Maryam, the sister of Aaron. Aisha, she did not say to him, you are wrong. Aisha, she's telling him, you are a liar. Not only you're not, not wrong, you are a liar. Which means obviously that's what Muhammad meant. When he came back, Muhammad, Aisha, she told him, this is what this Jew, he said, and he is a big Jew. He's a big rabbi. Muhammad, he have to fix it. He said, oh, they used to call them by their uh, great prophets. <laughs> but remember, Miriam, 
or Mary, the, the, sister, the sister of Aaron, is from different tribe of Mary, the mother of Jesus. So they are not ancestor. There's no connection. They are not from the same tribe. But this is how you expose liars. Uh, a Muslim asked me, did the Isa speak Greek? I told him that in Jil, which is a Greek, and he says, uh, okay, but you see, this is a good question, actually. So the Muslim saying, if Jesus, he speak a Greek language, that explain why the Quran call it Injil. No, that doesn't explain it. Because Jesus was sent only to the Hebrew, according to the Quran. Bani Israel. And that's what Muslim they say. They say every prophet was sent to his nation. And they claim that Muhammad was sent to all mankind. So if Jesus, he sent, he was sent to the Jews, the Jews, they speak Hebrew. The Greek language is the language of the enemy. The Jews, they are fighting for their freedom. They are under the occupation of the Roman. So do Jesus speak the language? I believe Jesus speak all languages even though he was able to make his disciples speak all languages, and even this is mentioned in the, in, in, in the books of, of Muslims. But you will notice here that the Quran keep repeating that Allah, he sent down the Injil, but the Injil is a Greek word. That means Jesus, if he was sent, he was sent to the Greek people. He was not sent to the Hebrew, based on the Quran. Because remember the Quran says in the same time, that Allah never sent a messenger. Never sent a messenger. Except by the tongue of his people. Chapter 14, verse number 4. So, the Quran make it clear that Allah will not send a messenger unless he is from the people, which means he will not send you a messenger, he is from different country. From different ethnic he will send the messenger from the nation and in the language of the nation in order to make it clear for them do you see it so if jesus was a messenger sent by allah as they claim and then the book of jesus is in greek as the quran say then the stupid Allah, he miss the map. He think that the Jews, they live in Greece. And Allah, he sent the book in a Greek language to the Jews. Well, Jesus spoke Aramaic, Jesus speak all, I believe Jesus, he, you know, I mean, if we believe his God, he speak all languages. Muhammad, he cannot even speak his own. He know Arabic, yeah, but I mean, a kid, he, he will speak Arabic. A dog, you teach him some command, he will learn it in any language. But Muhammad, according to Muslims, did not know how to write, how to read. So the Quran is making it so clear that the one who will be sent, he will not be a person from abroad. He will be from the nation, speaking the language of the nation. And that destroyed the claim of Muhammad to claim a messenger for all mankind. That is a contradiction. Because Allah will never send a messenger unless he speaks the language. Any other question? We have Mr. CYKA. He was 35 years as a Muslim and now he left Islam. I'm so happy for you, my friend. You sound a smart person. But I don't know, uh, uh, Balayat, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to try to help you to go back to Islam. Do you know now what you lost, my friend? Don't you want to get the versions? What's wrong with you? Don't you want to see women jumping all over you like monkeys? Why you leave Islam? 
Don't you want to have 70 years orgasm? I mean, 70 years, not 69. To be honest with you, if 69, that would be a problem. I mean, it's, it's short. But Alhamdulillah, it is 70 years orgasm. And you leave Islam, brother. What's wrong with you? And not only that, the Prophet of Allah, he promised you that he will, you will have an endless penis. There's somebody in the front of my house. No, this is not somebody. This is a penis there. Oh, there's a car going over. Oh, boy. A big, big truck. Oh, the, the city, they are taking it off from the street. Look, what? Don't move the penis. This is a penis of a Muslim believer who promised to go to Allah. Endless penis. I mean, what the Chinese would do with it? I mean, you know, in China, they eat everything. They see your penis going in China. They think that it's a sausage. Oh, they will think it's a snake or something. Endless penis. I mean, those those promises, by the way, they are very logical. And the women, they will wear 70 dress. I mean, why 70? This guy is stuck with number 70. 70 or orgasm. Women wearing 70 dress. 70 everywhere. And still, after 70 dress, you can see through the marrow of their bones. What the heck? So those are 70 dress of what? 70 dress of see-through? That's deep. I mean, we have to agree that this is very deep. Brother, look at this hadith. Look, look how beautiful. I'm just trying to help you to remember what you are missing. So maybe you would say shahada again. He swear by Allah. He says, every one of you will have two wives of the Huris. Between two brackets, they were so beautiful and pure transparent. I mean, come on, let's like, hold on. How many of us always we wish that things are transparent? We say we want transparent government, we want transparent uh, rules, we want, you know, and now the wife is herself a transparent. The days where your wife, she can take your credit card and she hide it in her purse is over. If she put it under her bra, still you can see it. If your wife, she go to the refrigerator, and she eat your hamburger, you can see through her belly. Women, they cannot hide anything from us no more. Finito, women. The game is over. You try to hide it, you try to take it. I, my husband, I did not take your credit card. Hello, I can see it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I can see through. I can see through 70 dress. I can see the marrow of your bones. And brother is going to be very sexy and you know it. I mean, I don't know how many of you have a good imaginary. I think none of you have good imaginary. Let us be honest here. The Holy Prophet, he gave us a holy description of the women in the heaven. Uh, what the women in the heaven will do a brother I don't want to show you a picture of somebody you know so I prefer to show you a picture of one of my wives uh, this is one of my wives going shopping and look she is very conservative I mean you can tell <laughs> And a hey brother, you can see everything. Look, look, you can see inside the purse. Look at this. The game is over. They can't play with us. All of this, Alhamdulillah, because of the wisdom and the promise of Allah. The dream come true. They cannot lie to us no more. I don't know if it's going to look good if this is your mother-in-law. I'm not sure about that. Or, <clears throat> But anyway, let us assume that this is, will be only for the good-looking women. You know, good-looking women. Huh? Look at this. Who can resist this? Let us be honest here. You are now in heaven. And the beautiful whore is laying down. 
or she is uh, doing this. Look, I, I think this is very tempting. I should change it. Uh, come on, we cannot do that. But what about this? Like, what the heck? Beam. I mean, the Prophet of Allah, he knows best, and he exactly tells us the truth. This is true. This is how women, they will look in heaven. And by the way, if you are a Taliban and you are listening to me, according to Muhammad, Allah will make you a green bird. Look at this. The guy, he joined ISIS. He did some side bombing, and now he will be a green bird. Green what? Green bird, brother. Now this one is Da'if. We don't want to show you Da'if. We want to show you that the Sahih. <laughs> yeah, the Sahih. Don't show me the Da'if. Okay, this one. Allah will put the soul of the Mujahideen inside a green bird. I'm not sure really how Osama bin Dajin is going to have sex with those virgin and now he is a green bird. Allah will put their spirit in the crops of a green bird which go down to the rivers of paradise and eat its fruit and nestle and in lamps of gold like now look you are bird but now you're drinking in, in a in a cup made of gold i mean isn't this is beautiful so the poor abdul he joined isis he is desperate now to go and have sex with the women he go there he found himself a chicken a green chicken the woman she will say to him how we will have sex now he will say to her, pop, 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 we use the peak. Pop, 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 we use the peak. She will say to him, you will peak me? Yes, we use the peak. Pop, 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 pop. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. That is a promise of a holy prophet. Only prophet of Allah can come with such a chicken promise. All of us, we wanted one day to become a green bird. Man, I used to do a lot of hunting before. I just need to ch to clean my rifles to go and hunt for a green birds from now on. Because it looks like when you kill a green bird, you are killing Osama bin Laden. Man. What is my sniper life rifle? Anyway, anyway, I, I, I don't know. I, this guy who left Islam, I feel sorry for you, to be honest with you. You don't know what are you missing because you will be a green bird and you will eat all the kind of worms. I mean, look, you go to the buffet, you are a bird now. What is the best food for, 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 food for a bird? Uh, worms. You go in the open buffet, you will find all kind of delicious worm. Like worm with sauce, worm with garlic, worm without garlic. Warm with the uh, barbecue sauce. Warm with, I don't know, you, you, you use it in imagination. I remember once when I was in Thailand, uh, there was a woman selling cockroaches. Honestly, cockroaches, big one, a huge one. And she said, she don't speak good English. To her, what is that? It's cockroaches? She said, yes, it's good for boom, boom. <laughs> Good for boom boom, yeah. Uh, perverted people, boom boom. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good time together. Let me know if you like me to come tomorrow, which is going to be Friday, uh, live on air. Because actually, I want to give myself a break, but I will see how many people watch the video. And if we reach, let us say, twenty thousand people by tomorrow, I will come back tomorrow, same time as today, maybe and we will have a new video. 
and for sure we invite Muslims to call us and even green birds green birds are welcome but don't do poo poo on my computer please thank you God bless you and may the Lord save the soul of the Muslims who they are lost and misled remember we don't hate them we are here to help them and we are here making fun of the stupidity not of the stupid stupidity is our enemy the Bible says my people they are bearish because of their ignorance so our enemy is ignorance Christian they suffer from ignorance many of them do not know the Bible many of them they do not know anything about Islam they've been misled been lied to even by a Christian priest they say to them Islam is the same religion or they have the same God which is absolutely a big fat lie the Lord he said from their fruit you shall know them so if your priest is teaching you false information he is not a priest of the Lord if your priest is telling you false information about Islam he is not worshiping Jesus and he don't belong to Jesus Jesus will deny them in the judgment day and he will send them all to hell we love to save the Muslims but we don't love the devil remember that and Islam is of the devil Thank you. God bless you and see you soon again. This is your brother Hambly was serving you for today, Christian Prince. Take care.